Hi, everybody. How's everyone going? All right, we can improve on that. It's all right, don't worry, there's plenty of opportunities. Hi, welcome everybody to the Inner West Roller Derby World Pride Roller Derby Extravaganza 2023. This event is being brought to you by the tireless work of many, many dedicated volunteers, skaters, refs, NSOs, miscellaneous volunteers. Uh, thank you so much to World Pride for the opportunity to put on such an incredible event in the beautiful, world-renowned Sydney Luna Park. Very exciting. Uh, my name is Jack B. Quick. We'll introduce our commentators and MCs in a little bit, but for now, I'd like to introduce Auntie Joanne to do a welcome to country. Yama. Beri Nandia. Yura Nagura Diyun. No young gurugo. Ma budgadi kamaragu no rada. People who come from afar, I see all of you. This land belongs to the kamaragu. Now you may not know them individually from one of the 29 clans that make up the Eora mob. Eora is simply a Sydney word that means I am from here. Now in our culture we share and we share stories and we share history. And tonight, I'm going to share some of that with you because you are on this land, Kudiri. That is what we call this particular space. And this space, this is where women dance. This is where women sing. And we have had corroboree here and dance. Sometimes we just sing for the fun of it, but usually all the time. So here on this spot, we have them, them first fleeters. They wrote about those dancers, the Yarban, all here. And they wrote about our women. There are ones that we all know that we hear of, Barangaroo, the warrior woman. We hear of Paddy Garang, who gave us our language. But there is one woman whose story you need to know, for she is a Camaragal. Her name is Gurundina. And all of those who will skate here tonight in this roller derby extravaganza, world pride here, here on this country. So what does that mean? In our culture, we speak of every when, and that is yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And in our culture, the land itself is what holds those stories. So here is the story of Gurundina. When you read about her, you will be shamed. You will be shamed of what you hear and see in those written words, what they say about her. But for us here tonight, we can see through that and see what it is that she was. Gurundina was considered to be the Venus, the Venus by those first fleeters. They had never seen a woman so voluptuous, so gorgeous, so at one in her own skin. And those men, they would try to chase her and they would want to give her little baubles and gifts. But you see, that harbour, we call it Warang. And that space, that water, that badu, that is where women outpace men. Because we would be in our nowies, our little skips, and we could outpace all of them. So when those white men tried to chase her down, she was able to outpace them. Because, competitors, she was the fastest. She was the meanest. And she was the sassiest woman that we had of this land. So tonight, when you enjoy the wonderful extravaganza that has been brought to you, I want you to understand that I have shared that old story for one reason. And that is the land holds stories. And it is the first story, the first time that we have had world pride in the Southern Hemisphere, the first time they have come down under. For tonight, you have marked this ground, this pemel, with your story. Now it is time for you to amplify that, to play to your strengths and to show us how it is done. For we don't need to live in dreams. 
Let's make them our reality. Yalu. Thank you so much to Annie Joanne for that incredibly beautiful and moving welcome to the country. It's such a privilege to be here uh, on your ancestral lands and to be able to share this with you. So we really appreciate that. Uh, before we get started, we'll just do a little bit of housekeeping. So there is closed captioning available for the event tonight. Uh, if you prefer that, if you're hard of hearing for any reason that you might want that, uh, there are QR codes about the place that you can scan to access the closed captioning. So fantastic work on making Roller Derby accessible for as many people as possible in a West. Uh, the QR code is around the venue and also on the big screen. Uh, there's two. It's great. Uh, also, I'd like to introduce a couple of the sponsors for the event today. Uh, we can see a few names around the place. We'd love to thank Better Bearings, who have sponsored the penalty box. So you'll hear our wonderful commentators talking about the Better Bearings penalty box. Thank you so much for your contribution, Better Bearings. Fantastic bearings, like genuinely. I'm not being paid to say that. I just really like them. They go really fast. Uh, Spunky Bruiser as well has a stall. Uh, and they have dressed our wonderful commentators, who we'll be introducing in just a moment. Fantastic locally made sustainable fashion. Also, we've got the track. This wonderful track has been brought to us by Sock Draw Heroes, uh, dedicated to gender euphoria, which I think is something we can all get behind. We've got... Halftime Entertainment will be coming to us courtesy of the incredible, kind of terrifying, but exhilarating Chuffed Skate Crew, who also have a stall. Uh, there is a giveaway at the Spunky Bruiser stall as well to win a custom-made jumper. Uh, so that competition is running on the Inner West Roller Derby League Instagram page. Uh, it will be drawn tonight. The competition entries will close at the end of the first game, as will, I believe, raffle ticket sales, which you should get on, absolutely. Raffle, how good is it to win prizes? Yeah, yeah, it is. It's fantastic. Uh, the other major sponsors for the event are World of Wheelcraft, Skate Victoria, and the Inner West Council. So big thanks to everybody who's been involved in helping to put this on. Uh, you can also find around the place, you will see, hopefully not on the track, but standing by just in case, wonderful first aid people from St. John, uh, who are keeping us safe and healthy, hopefully, skater first aiders for the event. Uh, so there are bathrooms as well. They're located in the back of the event. All bathrooms for the event are gender neutral. There may be some signs that were too high up for us to be able to put uh, tape over them that still indicate gendered bathrooms, but all bathrooms for the event are gender neutral for the evening, so use whichever one you feel you need or feel comfortable with. Um, there's also signs on the bathrooms to indicate if they have stalls, urinals, etc. Uh, the upstairs seating and foyer is a licensed area, so that's 18 and over years of age, so Small children, please remove yourselves kindly. Get out of here. No, no, get out of the upstairs. Get downstairs. It's nice. You can see. You can get really close to the action. It's fantastic. Uh, and the entire event is being live streamed. So you can find that link on the Inner West Roller Derby League Facebook page. Share this with anyone that you know that couldn't make it along tonight because everybody deserves the opportunity to see some roller derby magic that we are all going to bear witness to here tonight in this Thunderdome of a big top. Yeah. Who's excited to see some amazing roller derby? <laughs> Correct answer. Uh, lots of photos can be taken. Please take lots of photos, videos, etc. Put them on your socials, put them on your Instagrams, your TikToks, your whatever the kids are doing these days. Uh, and tag Inner West, Roller Derby League, tag World Pride. Uh, we are really excited to see 
what it looks like from everybody else's perspective as well, because this is an event for you, and we're so excited to have everybody here tonight putting it on. Uh, thank you so much for coming along. Uh, that should be all of the, uh, the housekeeping. Now, I'm about to introduce you to some very special people uh, who will be calling a lot of the shots today, this evening. A wonderful commentators, Melodrama and Bone Idol. Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. You hear their dulcet tones calling the action uh, throughout the evening. And, you know, tell them they're amazing because they surely are. They're also dressed by the wonderful Spunky Bruiser. And we'll get them modelling some of those uh, sweet, sweet threads uh, throughout the games. How do we know where, which camera's on? I, I want you all to experience the full glory of us. That's showbiz, baby. That's very, like... Yeah, I'm, look, we'll figure oh, it out. Oh. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks, Jack, for that awesome intro. There will be a pop quiz later, so I hope you're all taking notes. Fantastic. Now, who here is a long-time, like, old-school roller derby fan slash player? Give us a cheer. Who here has never seen roller derby before except maybe whip it, which doesn't count? Very nice. And of those people who've never seen roller derby before, except maybe Whip It, which again, I can't stress this to you enough, it doesn't count. It's not, it's a great movie, we're all obsessed with it, but it's not, it's not the rules. So, who here doesn't know the rules of roller derby? There is no shame in that, I'm not 100% sure, and I ref, so. You know, you know, Jack, in all fairness, in all fairness, they do change the rules reasonably oh, often. So frequently. It well, is fairly hard to keep up. It is, but thankfully, in order to help you keep up, we have this wonderful introductory video brought to you by Woofdada, the Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Association, which we're going to play for you now. Uh, thank you. Roller Derby is played in increments called jams. Each jam lasts up to two minutes. Both teams field up to five skaters at the start of the jam. Four of these skaters are called blockers, and one is called the jammer. The jammer, the jammer wears a helmet, helmet cover with a star on it and, and scores points, points for the team. The blockers, the blockers are playing both offense and defense at the same time and together, they make up what is called the pack. The two, the two jammers start each jam behind the pack and must get through all of these skaters for an initial pass before they can begin to score points. When the initial pass is complete, a jammer can score one point for every opponent they pass with their hips. The first, the first jammer, jammer out of the pack legally is declared their lead jammer, jammer which, which means they can end the jam any time they want before, before the two, two minutes, minutes are up. Sounds, Sounds easy, easy, right? right? All right. Are we clear? We're pretty clear. You're about to see it in action. You'll pick it up. Now, I think... In order to get this show on the road, we need some skaters. Is that right, commentators? Well, I'm not doing it. Yeah, oh, God, no, me neither. These old creaky bones. Who are the skaters tonight? Tonight, representing the Coastal All-Stars, also called the Beach or Brazilian team, please welcome number six, Chaotic K. Yeah. Number seven, Gnarly Quinn. Number eight, Madness. Number ten, Kip. Number thirteen, Vixen. Number forty-four, By Furious. Number seventy, Rasputin. Eighty-eight is Betty Boom. One hundred, Caliente. One oh one, Ali Tude. Two one zero, Metallicas. Two four seven, Redmond. 313 Princess Fanny Flutters. 325 Team Captain Ash Hazard. 519 Makita. 546 Nat Out of Hell. 789 Moxie Monoxide. And 0690 Fanny Tastic. And benching tonight, we have Domest Domesticating and Cinders.
over to the country all-stars, or as we will be referring to them, I'm sure, Team Bush. We've got number 07, Roxy Tosin. 08, Lady Rat. Number 9, Viper. 1, 2, Fire. 2, 3, Locally Brewed. Four, two, Mad Hacker. Seven, nine, Apple Pie Sexual. Nine, nine, Irish. One, zero, two, Regulator. One, seven, three, Copter. One, nine, six, Rosetta Bloodstone. Six, six, seven, lemony snake bite. Two, one, zero, metallicas. Four, zero, seven, seven, Hawkeye fierce. Seven, three, two, zero, killer tits. And on bench we have claws and to kneel. Give it up for all our skaters! All right, now there's another group of people who will be wearing some skates this fine evening. What's a game without officials? Absolute chaos. So I would love to introduce our referee crew headed by head ref Menace. We have Honey Badger, John Ref Kennedy, Spanners, Ron Bear, Denominator, Candy Bunts, and on reserve we've got Boom Tish and Sparkles. These are our skating officials. Our non-skating officials are Ruby Soho, Resting Bitch Pace, General Pain, Nasty Surprise, Ritual Ideas, Tenacious C, Slice Skater, Mercy, Fairy Gobsmacker, and on the reserve we have Motion Denied and Body Bagger. Give it up for our officials, crew. All right, everybody, you know what the game is, at least in theory. You know who is playing the game. You're aware that we have delightful and amazing refreshments available in the foyer. You're aware we have closed captioning. Check out the stalls when you get a chance from Spunky Bruiser, Chuff Skates, Better Bearings, uh, No Milk in My Tea, raising money for gender affirming surgeries and a number of other sponsors that we'll be talking about in detail later. Get yourself raffle tickets, as many as you can carry in your little arms and get ready to watch some roller derby extravaganza. And while we're waiting for those teams to get all ready, nope, they're ready. Or oh, the refs are saying they better be ready. They will start the game without you if you are not on the track, so. Watch out. And on the jammer line, jamming in this first, first jam for the beach team, Nat out of hell. And Matt Hacker for Team Bush. Team Bush not making it easy there. Nat out of hell through. She is the lead jammer, and that means that she has the ability to call this jam off whenever she thinks it's strategically good. Jammers don't get any points for that initial pass. They do need to complete that first pass. That is their second pass. So that's four points added to the All Coastal All Stars. And our first penalty of the evening as well. I think we've got fire in the box. Yeah. 
Matt able to get it back up on her feet. Four more added to the score. So only four there because despite passing all the players on the opposite team, one was out of play down on their knee. That looked like some pretty old school derby throwback to whipping, pulling another skater through. How good is it? And Team Beach really making the most of this lead and this energy for the first jam, getting as many points as she can. Country All-Stars going for the uh, panty pass, meaning that the jammer is no longer the jammer, hands that responsibility off to the pivot. No, four points added as a result of that. That jam coming to an end, 19 points for the Coasties, four points for the country. So next up we have with Team Beach jamming, we got Betty Boom. Up against Rosetta Bloodstone. Bloodstone in a huge triangle. Nearly had a breakaway there. Copter knocking the jammer out of bounds, but didn't stay in bounds himself. So that jammer is through, but does not get the lead jammer status. That means Betty Boom does not have the opportunity to call the jam off. That, that is still possible for the country. Rosetta Bloodstone still unable to get out of the pack. That is some massive blocks that they're getting there from the Alitude. Getting a nice assist there from uh, Lady Wreck. Some really nice blocking as well here from Team Beach as well. It's very hard when there's only two of you on the track, but they're doing absolutely sterling work, recycling that jammer all the way back as far as they can and getting rejoined, three back on for the blockers for Team Beach. And you'll see players looking at the bench, asking if, the, if their coach thinks they should call that jam off. And bench to Neil calling that jam off. 12 points added for the Coasties. Initially big lead there for the Coastal All-Stars, 31 playing four. And we got Team Bush starting with one in the box as well. Nali Quinn duking with one to beat, using brute force to put her way through. Nali Quinn takes the lead, but right on, right on their tail, we've got Irish. Very smart move, making it through, scoring some points and calling it off just before Irish can come in and score anything for Team Bush. Four quick points, that's the old school derby really, isn't it? Short jams, quick and dirty. Leaves you with more energy for the next one, but takes its toll over time. And you may notice in the penalty box, in the better bearings penalty box, you, there are two blockers there. When they're seated, they sit through the first 20 seconds of the penalty. When they're standing, that means they only have 10 seconds left to serve in their penalty. Kiff knocked out of bounds, having to recycle behind the blocker that blocked Kiff out. 
but that blocker too far away from all of the other blocker friends, so they had to reform the pack. Mad Hacker making their way through. And we got both jammers through now, looking rightly tired. That was really hard fought. Amazing work from all of the blockers there. That jam being called possibly a little bit too late there. Coastal jammer Kiff snuck in a few points, two points, I think. You may notice the uh, jammer referees. One of them has a blue sock on their hand, one of them has a red sock on their hand, and that determines, that shows you which team that they are following the score for. Nat out of hell jamming for the Coasties. And Rosetta Bloodstone up again for Team Bush. Nat out of hell out in front, too good for those blockers, completing the initial pass. But Rosetta's made it through, chasing on the tail. Copter knocking Nat out of hell out of bounds. And that means Nat has to go in behind Copter. Copter is restricted with how far they can go because the pack is broken. Nat out of hell, knocked out of bounds again. Copter dragging them back. And again, some absolutely brilliant recycling here, making that jammer go as far back. Alitude and Makita doing a fantastic job of blocking. But Makita drawing a penalty. Arms in the air like she just don't care. This is a busy box, I don't mind saying. That's better bearings for you. Nat out of hell with the lead jam. It's not common that you see the lead jammer with less points on the board than the other jammer, but this is the situation we're in now. Four more points for the coast. It's 12 all. Bench manager says that's enough. The coasties lead 50 to 20. And you can see that on the No Milk in My Tea scoreboard. We got a team timeout by the looks of it to the Coastal All Stars. Oh well then, a team timeout. I uh, I've got a couple of questions over here for the wonderful Max from No Milk in My Tea. Should we ask them a couple of questions? They are sponsoring the event and uh, helping us out with a lot of yeah with merchandise. You have a stall here, is that right? Uh, microphone two for Max. Hello. Oh, we're on. Okay. Um, yes, there's a stall right at the back uh, ground floor. We've got um, all sorts of t-shirts and pronoun pins and stickers and some nice colour to add. Also to the colour to the board, which is Fantastic. lovely. Fantastic. And can you just give us like a 10 second rundown of No Milk In My Tea? What are you supporting? Yep, we're a, a gender-affirming fundraising brand, so if you look at the Fox t-shirt on the screen, all of that goes to Nix, who's that person on the screen, to their top surgery fundraiser, so come and support them and grab a shirt. Amazing. We're going to check back in with Max in as long as it takes for there to be another time out, I suppose. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. By Furious, jamming for the Coastal All-Stars. First one for the game, I think. Up against Irish in the red. Irish is through on the inside. By Furious, won the beat and is through as well.
Four points added for the country. By Furious drawn back behind Copter again. Irish, Irish adding four in the meantime. Fuck. Enjoy this next two seconds. It is the first time the box has been empty and nope, we're back. By Furious having a tough time getting through. Those country blockers just too good right now. By Furious with Penny in hand. Keep an eye on that. She might be passing it off. The only other player that can take it is the pivot. Irish Fru for another four point pass. Now the jammer does have to be in play to pass the star, so having to get back on first. And that was a long, long two minute jam. 24 points added for the Butchies. That brings them well within reach. Some maths distance away. It's good to have the option of handing over that jammer panty, but sometimes making it happen is hard work. Who have we got lining up there on the Sock Draw Heroes jam line team? We have, playing for the Coastals, we've got Nali Quinn and jamming. For the country, we've got Mad Hacker, but it is Nali who is through with the lead jammer status. Mad Hack is stuck behind a pile of blockers. One to beat, but driven out of bounds. Oh, off, to the, off to the penalty box. That was some smooth work there. Coming through, barely needing to impact anyone, barely meeting any resistance. It's a different story this time round. Good jam is hitting the ground and getting right back up again. And Bush have got their jammer out the back, out the box, and look at that. Mad straight hacker. out, straight through. Little ninja move. Sometimes all you need to get through that pack is a little 30 second sit down, you know? Get the rest and recharge. I would say it's a strategic move, honestly. Get yourself a little, just a little, ooh, a little forearm. Ooh, a little cut track. Take a 30 second break. Strategic. Definitely intentional. All right. All, all actions here are intentional, of course. Nothing, to, leaving nothing to fluke. It's very metaphysical, metaphysical of you, Mel. Rosetta Bloodstone pushing up against the wall, and Nikita and Alitude, I think. Betty Boom out the front, and yep, duking round that, those four blockers out the front there. Helps to be nimble these days. I can tell you right now, these hits are pulling no punches. They are putting some force behind those uh, big swings at each other on the track. I can feel the breeze coming off them, hitting me. And Betty Boom calling it just as Rosetta approaches the back of the pack. Three more points added to the Coastal All-Stars. 63 playing 47. Now, Bo, I think we need to get some audience participation in here. I think if the country all-stars are called Team Bush, 
Should the Coastal All-Stars be called Team Brazilian? I agree. Strongly agree. All right, so who here would be cheering for Team Bush? And that would be Irish through its lead jammer for Team Bush. And Kiff making Kiff's way out on a Team Brazilian. Kiff getting down low, low, low with that pace. Coastal All-Stars, bit of a Quickly depleted oh. pack. Outside. Beautiful work there from Kiff. Sneaking through, barely noticed, gets four points. Kiff managing to lap the other jammer, or get past the other jammer. Not quite a lap. All right, and now we know who's cheering for Team Bush. Who's cheering for Team Brazilian? Even split, we love it. Who's cheering for wholesome, family-friendly, good time roller derby with no innuendos whatsoever? Uh, you might be at the wrong place. Honestly, I'm disappointed that anybody cheered for that. It's roller derby, there should be innuendos. Chaotic K, smashing it up in the front. Wonder Beat, she's through backwards. Oh, Chaotic K has got lead, but it's been caught. Nope, makes it through. All good. Make sure you look your best. Mad Hacker yet to make their first pass. That was some incredible one-on-one -on -one backwards blocking by Viper for the country All-Stars. But I spy a panty in a pivot's hand. Number 12, it looks. That is Viper, number one, two, the captain of Team Bush, heading to the penalty box as a jammer. So we're gonna have a power jam start for Team Brazilian. Team Beach. We've had some feedback from the officials on those names. Are we not allowed to say them? Well, there was a suggestion that it should be Team Wet, but I think more appropriately would be Moist. Team Moist. Team Moist. Team Moist. Team Bush. I think Bush and Brazilian. I'm going to go with that. I've got the microphone. I can do that. <laughs> Team Captain uh, Fire from the Bush. Fire Team... from the Bush. Oh, no. Oh, no. Team Bush were really through. making the most sorry. of that momentum there, keeping the pack rolling forward. But Betty Boom, Betty Boom has paying. made it through. Betty Boom loves the crowd, and the crowd loves Betty Boom. And we have got Team Bush's jammer back on the track. Those power jam starts don't last as long as you wish they would. Three points added to the Coasties, 73 plays 51. That is a 22 point difference according to the No Milk and My Tea scoreboard. Oh, looks like a team timeout. Coastal All Stars. Oh, team timeout or official review. <gasps> it's an official review. Let's go investigate. So while Jack is getting the goss from the center of the ring forum, what you can do, you can jump onto NOS Instagram. There are competitions, raffles, all sorts of ways for you to get involved with the prize draws later on. What's the goss, Jack? Oh, I've got the goss. So, player number 101 from Team Brazilian, Team Moist, if you will, I won't, uh, is sitting in the penalty box right now, having been assessed for a multiplayer block. So you'll see the refs doing this bad boy. That is the penalty for holding hands with your friend. 
It's sad, it's true, you can't do it. If somebody challenge it, like you've got to let go and allegedly they did not. Coastal All Stars reckon, nah, they did. Or it wasn't a penalty. They, did, they didn't do it. They didn't, they didn't do it. They're innocent, free them. Uh, and so that is the, that's the situation essentially. So the Coastal All Stars are requesting a review uh, and ideally I think they want that rescinded of the multiplayer block penalty on White Skater 101. That's your gossip report. How do they, how do the referees know what really happened? Is it like they watch footage or they listen to a true crime podcast or do they, do they just like make it up? Oh, it's like vibes. It's literally just vibes. No, they're actually really good. Uh, there's a lot of them. We have a lot of officials in Roller Derby. There's a lot that needs looking at and checking out. And so they confer among themselves over who saw it because you can sometimes have a lot of eyes on the same thing. And let's find out. It looks like that official review was not successful because as you can see, White Skater 101 is still taking a seat in the Better Bearings penalty box. Uh, they'll be sitting there for 30 seconds, thinking about, having to think about their actions. Players returning to the Sock Draw Hero track. Two is the right number. That is the number of blockers that our moist team are starting with. In the, in the moist better bearings penalty box. They are getting surrounded by bush. Quick, quick, <laughs> quick tip, don't get your better bearings moist. It's bad for them. And don't be intimidated. If you find yourself surrounded by bush, just know that you're strong, you got this. You're strong, you're powerful, you're moist. Oh, and we have got Irish through the pack. Gnarly Quinn's pushing hard against those four pushy blockers. Nessa and Makita trying to hold Irish back to no avail. Irish puts another four points on the board for the Butch. Gnarly Quinn, however, struggling to get through those blockers. It's a difficult call for our wet team, our coastal all-stars. When there's three of you on the track, you've got a jammer to keep back, a jammer to help out. Is it defensive? Is it offensive? There are some difficult choices to be made. It's multitasking at its finest. Irish just bouncing off madness. Through for another four points. Time for a celebration, folks. We've got an empty penalty box. But what if, what if the penalty box timers are lonely? Ah, oh, they'll have some friends soon enough. That pack has just slowed to a crawl on turn three and four as those blockers are doing some work on those jammers. Gnarly stuck behind that pack, well and truly struggling. Doing a really good job of keeping it up though. When you know the clock is just gonna run and run and you're still to make it through. Can't Sometimes the best thing to do is take off your panty and hope that your pivot doesn't go to the box. Caliente trying to give an assist, but those bush blockers are very persistent. And the whistle blows just before Team Bush can come and make another pass. That was hard. 16 big points up on the No Milk In My Tea scoreboard. Country All-Stars catching up, only seven points the difference. Margins of less than 10 points mean essentially nothing in roller derby it is anybody's game sometimes it can be anybody's game and there's like a hundred point margin at half time very dynamic game well anybody of the two teams on the track of course you mean it couldn't be my game unless you want to go for it you and me you and me let's <laughs> duke it out but it's mad hacker through with the lead for team bush and we got nat out of hell Fighting through the inside line, makes it through. 
Oh, some beautiful offensive work by Captain Viper from the bush. Matt Hacker calling that jam off before the Coastal All-Stars were able to add any points to the board. Closing that gap. That's what we should be doing. We should be closing the gap. Just the thought. Tell you what, it's a chance for Team Moist. They got four blockers they're starting with. They got Kiff jamming up against Rosetta Bloodstone. This time it's Team Bush, who are surrounded by Brazilians. Slightly different tactic from the blockers. They're forming a fair way away from the jammers. Only two blockers there, but oh, what blockers they are. No match for that offensive assist though. Oh, an illegal offensive assist though. Oh, and a jammer panty pass there. So now, jamming for Team Bush, we have Copter. Ah, uh, don't you just love hate it when a team calls off the jam, when you get to see someone that doesn't usually jam have a go with the star? Did did you say love hate? I love hate it. Mm. I mean, like, I love to watch it happen. I love watching people that don't usually jam have a go. I love the crowd reaction to it. But I hate it if it's me. Oh, got a bit of an official time out. How about we have a little bit of a chat about one of our amazing sponsors, Chuffed Skates. Chuffed Skates, yeah, how good are Chuffed Skates? They are independently owned, uh, fully run and operated by roller skaters right here in Australia. Uh, their mission is to spread love for roller skating and its supportive community all over the world uh, and represent skaters that they love and push roller skating to its limits with innovations in skate and hardware design. So you can get some beautiful, uh, incredible chuffed skates at all good skate shops or check out their stall over in the back as well and then have a look at their amazing demo at half time as well. Thanks, Chuffed Skates. Players back on the Sock Draw Hero track. Timer calls five seconds. That means the whistle is getting blown. Irish stuck behind a triangle of coastal blockers. Betty Boom through as lead jammer. And Irish not far behind, half a track behind. Is that enough time? Is that enough time to score some points? Yes, beautiful work through and done. Four more points to the Coastal All-Stars. Oh, some nice easy maths there for you, Mel. That's 10, right? Do you know what I reckon? I reckon people, if they're interested, if they're nerds, essentially, if they're interested in the strategy behind what's going on here, take a look at the moist team bench, the bench coaches and bench managers over there because there is some serious strategy going on. They are hitting it and quitting it repeatedly and they what, are what just... What does that mean? Hitting what does it, it mean to hit and quit? Uh, a couple of things, but uh, they what it means is they're not running the jams long. If they get lead, they will get points as quickly as they can and then they will instruct their jammers to call off that jam before the opposition is able to score rather than trying to run it long and just and hoping or, you know, wanting your blockers to help your jammer get as many points as possible, even if the other team also scores. They're trying to hold the other team scoreless. It's also fun to say. Calling it, I think, quite sensibly there. That was a fast-moving pack to catch up with and get through. I would say a textbook example of hitting it and quitting it. Coastal All-Stars leading it with 81 points. Is there anyone here supporting the country All-Stars? Who's here cheering for the Bush? Team Bush. And we have a lead. We've got Nat out of hell taking the lead for the Coastal All-Stars. But right behind them is Mad Hacker. Let's see, is this going to be another hit it and quit it? Ah, Nat getting taken back there. But so is Mad Hacker. 
and a no pack call. The two opposing blockers from each team just a little bit too far away from each other. Nada to hell using the opportunity provided by the splitting up of those country all stars pack to skate, uh, slice through, trying the inside line, but denied by Copter. That's another four for Mad Hacker. Not much time left in this period, just four and a half minutes to go. The margin is only six points. These are some very evenly matched teams. That was that, some that beautiful help. work there from the two blockers on Team Bush, from Copter and from Fire. Some beautiful pair work, keeping back Nat for a long time. Copter there somehow managing to take down a skater by hitting the other skater next to them. And Couldn't getting a penalty for it as well. No, no, that's a penalty going to the team Moist, the country, uh, Coastal All Stars. A mad hacker through again, another four points for the country All Stars. They're running out of time. Oh. They sneak another couple through. Looks like another few points there. Look at this. One point in it and only three and a half minutes left. What are we doing for lead changes today, team? What are we going to do? I feel raffle tickets are appropriate. I was going to say the same thing. I think every time there's a lead change, you should buy a bunch more raffle tickets. There are some amazing prizes, which we'll be talking about very shortly. You don't even need to leave your seats. You can do it on your phone. You don't need to worry about losing little bits of paper. It's all electronic. You can do it right from where you are. You know, I genuinely did not know that. That is so cool. Irish managing to lap Gnarly Quinn. Putting the country all stars ahead, four points and lead jammer status. Gnarly completing the initial pass for the Coasties. Irish trusting the, the blockers, getting four more and calling that jam off. And taking the lead. 7-0, only managing to pass three players that last pass. Time to buy some raffle tickets, everybody. Get your phones out. Look at that, as if by magic. A QR code up on the screens for you. Is it magic or is it science? Yes. <laughs> Betty Boom getting a big knock there from Viper. Standing right back up though. Betty Boom trying to make her way through for the Coasties. Trying on the outside now. No luck on the inside. Just a mess of blockers there from the country. Both teams working really hard, paying attention to keeping back the opposition's jammers that they didn't notice. They were getting farther and farther apart. We like staying together in roller derby. So a no pack getting called. One of the bush blockers getting sent into the bin. Now, every now and again, you'll see a jammer motioning to their team to go faster. Betty Boom doing just that just now. With one to beat. Through again, four more points for the Coasties. Oh, we're going to get a bit of jammer on jammer action here. Jammers being the only ones that can block each other, regardless of where they are on the track. Other blockers have to be within 10 feet, some mystery distance away from the other blockers. They've got to be within 20 feet of the pack to be in the engagement feet. zone, but Not you can so spread much. the pack out 10 feet at a time. So you'll see. Say a group of three blockers will gradually get pushed slightly forward by the jammer and they'll drop one person off to a group of two and then they'll go another 10 feet, drop another and then that last person can go 20 feet which is a punishing experience as a jammer. 
A little bit of roll it every strategy for you. I reckon this might be the last jam of this period. Yeah, what do we reckon a... Viper's up to here? Hanging around on the edge there. Giving some assistance there, Jammer. Trying to break up the Coastal All-Stars. Viper trying to make their way up the Sock Draw Hero track. Massive oh, hits there from Copter. What is this? Is this a Jammer on their way to the box? <gasps> it is. It's a p -p 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 Power Jam for p -p -p Team Moist. Team Moist going to be doing their absolute utmost. Ah, oh, Copter running back Chaotic K. Chaotic K through Copter chasing. Referees say it's okay. Wasn't too far away from the pack. Big what a way to there. end. You know what that means we're starting with? Raffle tickets. Raffle tickets? Raffle tickets. You got 15 minutes to get your raffle tickets and also hop on over to Inner West's Instagram as well. All sorts of competitions, share your photos, tag a player, tag your friends. 15 minutes, go get it. You've got an inventory, you've got a list, you've got a to-do list everybody. You've got to get a delicious refreshment. You've got to get, check out No Milk In My Tea. Check out the event merch as well. Buy your raffle tickets, including a massive, massive piece of amazing artwork by famous artist, Sophie T. Spunky Bruiser. You need some new clothes. Like, let's face it, you probably do. You spent all of your money on roller derby gear and now you've neglected your wardrobe. Check them out. Better bearings, chuff skates. Just hang out. We're going to see you in just under 15 minutes for the second half of the first game of the Inner West Roller Derby League World Pride Roller Derby Extravaganza. Bye. Oh, wait just one moment. We're going to have an interview with some team captains towards the end of this intermission. Stay tuned for that as well.
G'day everybody, hopefully you've all been doing as I very politely, I think, requested and went and checked out the merch stalls, got yourself some raffle tickets, I don't know, maybe socialised a little bit or something, something like that as well. But I bet the question on everybody's lips is like, who are these mysterious, incredible roller derby skaters? And that's what we're here to find out. Welcome to my fantasy talk show where I'll be inter uh, interviewing two of our team captains. Welcome, team captains. Thank you. Hello. So first, uh, who, who are you? What are your names? What are your pronouns? What are your hopes and dreams? Just the names and pronouns, actually. Thank you. Uh, I am Ash Hazard. My pronouns are she, they. I am captain of the Coastal All-Stars. Excellent. I am Fire, pronouns she, her, and I am captain of the Country All-Stars, which are better, by the way. <laughs> we'll see. Fantastic. All right, welcome, Fire and Ash Hazard. You are fantastic skaters. I've definitely been uh, calling Fire Viper, so sorry for giving the credit for some really amazing roller derby to the wrong person. I'm so sorry. I can only learn from my mistakes and move and grow forward. I forgive you. I forgive you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, a um, uh, question for you, Ash. How do you feel about the fact that we have, as commentators and MCs, unilaterally named your team Team Moist? <laughs> I think it's slay. 
I'm here for it. Slay. There's the verdict, folks. You heard it here. It's slay. Very slay. Now, Fire. Yes. <laughs> how do you, as someone named Fire, feel about us naming you Team Bush? I feel very controversial being yeah. Bushfire, which is not something that people like. So, Generally, no. Yes, no. Very devastating. But I guess I am pretty devastating on the track, so oh, can confirm. Fantastic. Oh, you're really working with me here, Fire. <laughs> Love that. All right. And uh, what leagues are you each from, Ash? So I am from Inner West Roller Derby League. Ah, I heard something about Inner West Roller Derby League. Where do you stick it? We stick it in your West. In your West. Mm. They stick it in your West. What does that even mean? <laughs> sorry. Don't ask questions. <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm asking I the questions here, Fire. Thank yep, you. Yep, gotcha. They stick it in your West, right? It should be no. obvious. All right. <laughs> what league are you from? I am from Blue Mountains Roller Derby League. Blue Mountains, amazing. How yes. long did you travel to get here? About an hour and a half, but I live an hour from where my league trains. So two and a half hours for me. These country all-stars, they are tough. They are, they've got the endurance. They're in it for the yeah. long haul because they <laughs> go to training and they drive for bloody ages to get there. Yeah. Shocking. Commitment. Incredible. Amazing. I'm impressed. Yep. I'm impressed and I'm slightly awed and humbled by it, you know? <laughs> yep. Good stuff. Excellent. And how, uh, how, did you, how did you hear about... Uh, I know how you heard about this, Ash. It's Inner West's Roller Derby Extravaganza. Is Obviously. that how you heard about the event? Yep. Obviously. Yep. And Fire. I am a Luna Park Forever fan and I just know everything that happens at Luna Park. I've been here many times, saw roller derby and thought, I have to do that. I just have to. So I was I'm just not expecting that. Yeah. Actually. I am a fanatic for Luna Park. I love it here. It's my That's home. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I love that for you. Yeah. Fire, huge fan of uh, fanatic of yeah. Luna Park. Just Fire like, actually didn't travel to be here. She lives. I just want to go on she the lives rides. in Luna Park. She oh, travels yeah. to training like two yeah. hours each way so that she can live right here. Yep. Luna where the Park. rides are, where the fun is, where the roller derby is. Like, yeah, like this a... is fantastic. I'm loving the venue. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's doing extremely well. And uh, so, very close game as well. Let's talk a little bit of strategy for about 30 more seconds. Very close game. In, you know, one sentence, uh, what are your team's plans for the second half? Fire? We're going to skate blindfolded and backwards. I just, don't want to let her know what we're doing. Just vibes, basically. you know? <laughs> we're going to be, be gay and look hot. Uh, so you're going to be gay and look hot? Yeah, that's I just strategy. I think we're all going to be gay and look hot. Can we get a round of applause for being gay and looking hot? <laughs> all right, thank you so much for our uh, wonderful team captains, Ash Hazard from Team Moist and uh, Fire from The Bush. Ow. Let's get ready for the second half of this game. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. No worries. Well, we've got two minutes left of this intermission. I think that's just enough time for Mel and I to run through the raffle prizes. What do you oh. reckon? Yes, raffle prizes. So, first prize. Remember, there are QR codes on the programs. You can just Google it. Uh, first prize is a limited... That didn't come out right, did it? A limited, it. It's a, a limited, limited TikTok edition print by the famous TikTok and Instagram artist Sophie T. The frame print is hand signed and comes with a certificate of authenticity and is valued at one thousand eight hundred dollars. That is more than the raffle tickets cost. <laughs> that is more than the raffle ticket cost. Just checking the price of the raffle tickets. Not $1, less $1, than eighteen hundred bucks. Yes, I Bloody think the bargain. raffle tickets are seventeen fifty. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Jump online and check that out. Second prize though, invaluable. That is the Inner West Roller Derby League Learn to Skate program. You can let one of the fabulous Inner Westies teach you how to skate. That's valued at $220 on paper, but in reality, it's life-changing. Who knows? Maybe your personal coach that the Inner Westies assigned to you and you will, you know, fall in love and live happily ever after. You never know. It's a whole clan. It's a lifestyle. It's good for 
your brain to have good humans around you. Third prize, we're gonna have to cut this in 20 seconds. What do you reckon, Mel? Third prize is an awesome Inner West Roller Derby merch pack valued at 200 bucks. It includes a zip up hoodie, t-shirt, hat, pin, badges, and stickers. Fourth, fifth, and sixth prizes, as well as the seventh prize, because I would have read that if I was looking properly. Fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh prizes are $100 worth of World of Wheelcraft vouchers. That's from World of Wheelcraft. They're out near the skate park at St. Peter's. They have a great name. Eighth Good prize. prize. Oh, we can get through this while wow, the teams Quick. line up. Eighth prize is a $100 voucher from JB Hi-Fi. Ninth prize is a pack of rock solid bearings from Better Bearings. They're the people that are brave enough to sponsor our penalty box. Tenth prize, that was 10th prize, the is the Soft prizes. Draw Heroes voucher valued at 40 11th prize is a Minus Barbary voucher, also valued at $40. But you know what has no value? A no value. All the value, a all power value. jam start. And that's Betty Boom with the, all of the power. Priceless, that was the word I was looking for. Not no value, priceless. Priceless one-on-one -on -one blocking coming to Betty Boom there from Copter, who's taken Betty to the inside line and is now running back. And referees signalling, you know, pass, no penalty. Oh, and Matt Hacker already out and through and chasing down Betty Boom. Obviously Betty Boom no time. engaging with the crowd once again. I think we should all give Betty what she wants. A beautiful and round of applause. And One point. Very helpfully helping out the referee, saying, no, referee, you've made this mistake. Look over here. Referees ignoring that help. Everyone just returning to the track. As players, we try to help, but sometimes that helping isn't as helpful they as we think you. it is. They said no thank you. Players back on the Sock Draw Hero track. Kiff jamming for the Coasties. Oh, did you see that jump? Flew I, over. I saw oh, a track cut. That was some fancy footwork, but maybe a little a bit too fancy. Look good though. Rosetta Bloodstone with all of the power in this jam. <laughs> oh, old school whip there from Copter. Basically just hurling Rosetta Bloodstone through the pack. Very successful for four points. Raising along the ground as she went. My advice to all aspiring jammers is get you a blocker that can just fling you through the air. That's how we navigate our lives. That's right. And Rosetta just stylishly making it through the pack, scoring their points, and then just chilling out. Nice little transition, admiring their handiwork, and back on for another pass. A smush of players ha happening there around Jammer Kiff. Kiff trying to get, their, get Kiff's way through the line. Really great track awareness there from 519 Makita, letting Kiff know that the uh, blocker that knocks them out actually also exited the track, so you don't need to recycle behind them. It saves a lot of time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears. Low block called for Copter. He is sent to the better bearing penalty box. Kiff's hard work paying off, making it through, pushing their way through that bush. Kiff with one to beat. Marches past Roxy Toxin. Picking up those points. Is that a bloodstone? Someone in that group having a back block. Kiff sneaking up the inside line. No points given for that little sneakiness, though. Country All-Stars taking the lead, 113. Plays 101. Both teams achieving the century already. Oh, look at that box. That is stuff full of bush. We have got two seated, one standing, which means that it is all on. 
And Good the Bush is using the tactic of using Irish, the jammer, as a blocker temporarily. Regulator holding the fort there for the country all stars, but joined now by Copter. And that out of hell making her way through. And that jam called off the hit it and quit it tactic. Four points, call it off so the other team can't score any points. And Bush are going to be happy with this. This time it is the Coastal who have got two in the box. So up to jam, we've got Mad Hacker and Chaotic K. Again, both sets of blockers so focused on keeping back each jammer that the pack is broken, which gives Chaotic K a chance to break through and take the lead. <laughs> Fairly steady flow of um, blockers going through the penalty box. Mad Hacker sneaking up the inside line, completing that initial pass. Chaotic K calling it off before Hacker can come round and take any points. And that also locks the fourth blocker in the penalty box for the next jam, or for the beginning of the next jam. And we know that there's 10 seconds or less when that blocker is standing in the penalty box. But that's usually enough time to kick off. Country All-Stars don't want to play this jam. Jam number four is not their favorite jam, so they're gonna say no. Official timeout. Jack, 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 what's the goss? Oh, uh, well, actually, right now, we're going to find out what the goss is. But right now, we are going to have a little bit of a chit-chat to uh, Chuffed Skates, a wonderful representative over here. Hi there. What's your name? Hi, uh, my name's Sam. Some people know me as Marmalade Slam, and I'm the owner of Chuffed Skates. We're super excited to be here for this awesome event. Amazing. So Marmalade Slam, that sounds like a roller derby name. Do you, uh, do you skate? Do you play roller derby? Do you I skate? Have. You own a roller skate company. <laughs> I don't play derby anymore, but I have played derby in the past and it was my derby name. Yeah. Excellent. And you played for Inner West as well. For a very short amount of time, Inner I West? did. I had the pleasure. Inner West has got such an illustrious list of uh, members and ex-members. Now, what does Chuff Skates do? What do you do? Uh, well, we sell roller skates um, and we spread joy through roller skating. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, if you want joy to be spread to you through roller skating, you should check out the Chuff Skates stall where they've got merch of a variety of kinds as well as like skate stuff. Uh, and also stick around because in between this game and the next day of Australia versus the world, some of the Chuff Skate crew are going to be performing death-defying stunts or uh, looking really cool. Maybe both, right? Absolutely both. Cannot wait. All right. <laughs> Getting back underway, what's going on over here on the track, commentators? Mad Hacker is jamming for the bush. And we've got Nat Out of Hell for the Coastal All-Stars. And what an amazing moment. We've got everyone on the track, four blockers, two jammers, later refs and NSOs. Some massive hits going on in the pack there. Those jammers are bloody resilient. Nat out of hell losing their feet. Mad Hacker taking lead jammer status. And Nat out of hell following on behind. This is getting close. This second period is uh, a lot tighter on points. Mad Hacker sailing through. Oh, was it in time? Let's have a look. Three and two. Those couple of seconds can make all the difference calling off a jam. There's not much in this game. The no milk in my tea scoreboard 
showing uh, the country all-stars sitting on 120 and the coastal all-stars sitting on 110, sorry, 111. And you might notice also the little dots that are next to each of those scores. They indicate the number of timeouts and official reviews left. And both of the teams have a dot there for the official review. So that must mean that that official review that was called just before when we had a wonderful chat to Sam from Jeff Skates was successful. No? It was, it was a team timeout. Oh, it was a team timeout. Yeah. It was a false rumour. I take it back. It was fake news. Four points for the bush, two points for the mo moist. For the moist? The moist? Is that what we're the going wet with? Ones. For moist, team moist. I feel for the wet ones. <laughs> Betty Boom is back on back on the sock draw hero track. We got while we got this skaters. official time out, let's uh, talk a little bit about No Milk In My Tea. They've got a great stall down the back with some pretty cool and original merch. And the awesome news is that buying something from their stall helps them provide financial and social support for the trans and gender diverse community. It's really fantastic. Fundraising for things like gender affirming procedures is unfortunately pretty frequently necessary because shit's expensive. So how people afford the affirmation uh, that they otherwise might not be able to afford because capitalism is truly hell. I mean... Betty Boom doing some blocking from the back of the pack. Rosetta Bloodstone though. Caught behind, caught behind the coastal pivot. Taking lead despite only having two of their blockers on the track to assist. Betty Boom, fan favorite, just shows that, you know, if you really request the attention and adoration, you will get it. Great lesson. If you don't ask, you don't get. Thanks, Betty Boom. It's an important lesson for us all. Country All-Stars pass the star to fire. And actually getting, is that two points for that? It uh, looks like two. Yes, two on the board. I'm feeling inspired by Betty Broom's fantastic crowd work. I reckon maybe, look, after this jam, what do we reckon we're going to do a bit of a wave, like a crowd wave? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all right, get ready. Get your arms ready. Are we going to start your side or our side, Jack? My side, I'm going to run across and uh, everyone can just keep time with me because I think we need to run forwards and backwards because it's not like a circular situation. Yeah. Kif getting some last minute, uh, last minute ideas from Caliente. Mad Hacker being blocked to the inside by Kiff, but Kiff losing footwork. Knocked out of bounds by Copter and drawn back. Meanwhile, Mad Hacker makes their initial pass. Beautiful line coverage there by number nine, Viper dragging back Kiff all the way to the back of that engagement zone. Kiff with the look of desperation gets the assist from the blocker. Whips around and is through. Meanwhile, Mad Hacker, the quiet achiever there, just putting four more points on the board. Kiff gaining ground though. Speedy as. And with Bush at back of the pack, does that mean Kiff scored some points? Let's have a look. Yes, two points for Kiff. And the Coastal All-Stars. All right, are we ready? 
Follow me. One, two, three. Five. <laughs> Make them work for it. It's been a while since I did cardio. Track cut called on someone. It's probably worth mentioning, in these games, we have a lot of team players who have not been ever played before together. So, so this teamwork that we're seeing is really impressive. Nali Quinn finding their way to the penalty box for a track cut, I believe. Irish looks like making the most of this p -p -p power jam. Power jam with another uh, moist blocker sitting in that better bearings penalty box as well. It's really ideal conditions to be picking up a bunch of points, but Ali Tude and uh, someone whose number I can't currently see, trying to slow him down. Multiplayer block being called. That means you cannot hold hands with your blocker friend. You need to operate as an individual skater only. And then a penalty being called on Nali Quinn again, back into the penalty box, giving Irish another power jam. That's right, hold hands on your own time. This is roller derby time. There actually is quite a lot of hand holding in derby. <laughs> Four more points for the country all stars. Irish going straight into the middle of the pack, getting an assist from the other bush blockers. Pros and cons from uh, stepping in to run a little bit of offensive work during a power jam. Sometimes the other team can use that as an advantage to get some movement, make it a little bit harder. Sometimes it's better to just kind of keep the pace of uh, nothingness. But you might have noticed there was a little bit of a uh, mistiming there. We do have an official team timeout. The mistiming I'm talking about there was the jam being called off at the same time as the Coastal All-Stars jammer was released from the penalty box. Missed it by about a second, I think, and that would have been a power jam start or power start to the Bushies. Uh, but unfortunately, not quite timed well enough. Would have only been an extra second in the box, but you've got to make it from the box to the track. God, there's a lot of thinking in Roller Derby. It's so I complicated. What a weird sport we play. You gotta think so much about it. Somebody once described it to me as, uh, yeah, it's like, because people just think that we just skate around in circles or like, it's a race, right? Or is it like, is there points or is it like to the death? And you're like, actually what it's more like is uh, playing speed chess while someone throws bricks at you. I feel like that's quite an accurate assessment, to be honest. And that's why I've retired. So if you too would like to play speed chess while someone throws bricks at you, if you're the kind of uh, interesting character that thinks that sounds like a damn good time, have a chat to an Inner West Roller Derby volunteer. They'll teach you to skate. They'll uh, teach you how to play derby. And maybe you too could have an excellent time beating up your friends. There is a Learn to Skate prize pack. Second prize. That, uh, Second prize in the raffle that you can still buy tickets for. Scan the QR code on your programs or just Google it. No pack called. Multiplayer block called. Too much holding hands again. Nat out of hell, lead jammer. And Rosetta Bloodstone close behind. We can see another one of the return blockers here who is keeping their eye on. We've got Lady Rec trying to hold back Nat out of hell from returning to the back of the pack, but they've made it through. Beautiful, another four points for Coastal All-Stars. They're gonna to wanna to keep doing that quick four and call it off. Chipping away at that, that lead. Game. It's gonna be a tense game, everybody. Very tense. When we get to moments of tension, I'm going to ask something very special of you. 
I'm not going to tell you what it is right now, though. You have to wait. And I'm not sorry. Buy a raffle ticket. That's not what I'm asking. Well, There's something been else. Told. You have been told. Go and buy a raffle ticket. In the meantime, Betty Boom trying to find the inside line, finding Copter's elbow instead, drawn back to the back of the pack. I was going to say, you know who's been told? It's Betty Boom, and I believe what she's been told is, no, you can't go down that inside line. You know who can, though? Mad Hacker picking up Lee Jammer. I feel, I feel throughout this game, Mad Hacker is just like the quiet achiever, sneaking through, getting four points, sneaking on through, getting another four. Yeah, some of these jammers really, you know, hyping up the crowd, really getting into it. Some of them just... Yeah, just, just stacking up those points. points. Can we get a cheer for the incredible jamming work of Mad Hacker, everybody? All right, here's what I'm going to ask of you. When it gets tough, when it gets tight, I'm going to split you right down here. This side of the crowd, I'm going to say one, two, three. You're going to say, ooh. And then immediately after that, this side of the crowd, you're going to go, ah. Uh. Uh. We practice ready. One, two, three. We're going to do that again. Pleasure working with you, team. Gnarly Quinn trying to wiggle their way through. Gnarly Quinn taking a spin on their toe stops there, but back on and making it through. Caught, caught those bush blockers sleeping. But Rosetta threw, I mean, no fuss this, through four points, calls it. Once you got your raffle tickets, I feel I should point out that there are other opportunities to win. Spunky Bruiser, go check out their stall. Uh, it's our awesome, awesome guard this evening. Mel and Bo wearing up the front. Check out their stall, Spunky Bruiser at the back and enter their giveaway to win a custom made jumper. The competition is running on the Inner West Roller Derby Instagram page and will be drawn tonight. Your last chance to enter is before the start of the second game. Irish leading the way for the bush. Nat out of hell trying to break her way free for the Brazilians. Irish just sneaking through on the inside there. It's clearly the bush tactic to sneak your way through. It's certainly paying off for them. 159 leading 126. Both, both jammers hitting the pack. Both jammers finding the uh, sock draw hero floor. Forearm called on For a Irish well, using forearms to bust their way through. That's no good. Not out of hell with a power jam. Let's when see you, what the Coastals do here. When you see the uh, Benchy swinging their arms like this, that is the signal for a power jam. And that and Benchy will keep swinging their arms until the other jammer is ready to join the track. That way they know whether to switch from offense to defense. We got Irish already standing less than 10 seconds for Nat out of hell to take advantage of this. And as Irish had the lead and got sent to the box, this jam is going for the full two minutes. Sometimes two minutes, you think two minutes, yeah, it's not long. Two minutes isn't long. You tried jamming for a power jam. Two minutes, empires rise and fall in the two minutes that it takes to complete a power jam when the lead jammer has gone to the bin. It is, ooh, these skaters are tough. Irish using toe stops there to get through the inside line, adding another four points before that jam was called off. That puts the Bushies in a good position. Eight points, playing seven to Team Brazilian. 30 points the difference now, just over 10 minutes on the clock.
still anybody's game, but Team Bush starting to chip away at that lead, stretching it out. 30 points where previously it was only a couple. Some really nice work there from, well, all the blockers really, but uh, I caught Copter doing some really nice butt shuffling, taking Chaotic K off the track. It looks like Chaotic K, we've got a panty pass here. Copter dropping the shoulder in there, dropping that uh, moist jammer. Pivot now jammer. Caliente to the inside line. Beautiful offensive assist though on the inside to try and get Caliente through. Unfortunately, that is going to send Chaotic K to the better bearings penalty box while Irish continues to rack up the points. That is a busy coastal box. Ouch. Was that a high block? Caliente asking her team to go faster, faster, faster. With all these spills on the track, it is another thing that all our refs and officials and the other skaters help out with, is making sure that when someone does take a tumble, they are okay and that they can get back up. Irish Lots of people looking after each other here. I just snuck her way through. Ooh, jammer on jammer action. So jammers can impede each other at any point on the track. They don't need to be within the engagement zone. Both teams just skating around and around. And even though there was that star pass, passing the jammer responsibility onto the pivot, no points added for the Coastal All-Stars. 16 points for the Bushies. And an official timeout as well. This official timeout gives you very good notice to hurry up. Hurry up. Go and buy those raffle tickets. Did you know that the 11th prize, Bo, is a $40 gift voucher to Miner's Barbary? That is a barber shop. Go and get your hair cut at Miner's Barbary. That's the 11th prize in What are you trying the... to say? You calling uh, me out? No, I'm, I'm saying go and buy a raffle ticket. Oh, okay, That's yeah, that I'm I can saying. do, all that I'm I can saying, do. Buy a raffle ticket, time is running out on those raffle tickets. You have about nine minutes left. And if somehow you are still lost and don't know what's going on, you can go and buy one of the event programs. It has the names of all the skaters, information on how the game is played, as well as ways to get involved with Inner West Roller Derby League. This is an official review. I'm going to go find out what's going on. Indeed. So official reviews, as you may already remember, is when the referees are asked by one of the team bench managers if they reckon a penalty should have been awarded or should not have been awarded. Who knows what they are saying now. Did you know that for the fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh prize, that World of Wheelcraft are giving away $100 gift vouchers? They've got lots of stuff at World of Wheelcraft. It's not just roller skates. They've got roller blades. They've got skateboards. They've got scooters. They've got helmets and wrist pads. They've got all the stuff. That's World of Wheelcraft, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh prize. How many prizes for the raffle are there overall? 11. 11 prizes, 11 chances to win. What if you, so if you buy 11 tickets, does that mean that you'll definitely win a prize? 100%. That's, that's 100%. terrible math. Both of you, I'm that's, that's awful. You can't promise right. that. That's, uh, don't, don't listen to that clown. Jack, have you got some gossip for us? I do, I do. And my gossip is more precise than my maths. Although, go get a raffle ticket. They're, it's good for you. It's good for your health. Uh, so, black team. Bush All-Stars, they are challenging the direction of gameplay penalty. A little roll at every tip for everybody. 
You're only allowed to hit people if you're going derby direction, anti-clockwise around the track. So you'll see people hitting people forward, but generally they're going to be hitting people forward while they're moving backwards like this. You're allowed to do that. You can move side to side, you can move forwards, you cannot hit people like that. It's very dangerous. Don't do it. It, unlike buying raffle tickets, quite bad for your health. Can't recommend it. You'll get sent to the better bearings penalty box. No one's happy, I guess, except, you know, the other team, maybe. But uh, maybe they're bruising on the ground because you hit them illegally. So, the captain, Fire, from the Bush All-Stars was given a direction penalty and Fire reckons that she was hitting backwards while moving forwards. So there's some very technical roller derby knowledge for everybody, if you are not already aware. Oh, you're so welcome. That's so nice. Who's having a really good time? Like moderate? Would we say moderate? We can do better than that. We'll check back in in a little bit. So, that official review seems to have been successful because the country All-Stars captain is leaving the bin. Okay, once again, I have been, I've been jumping to conclusions. Uh, the reason the fire was leaving the bin was not because the official review was successful. So the country All-Stars no longer have the opportunity to say, hey refs, actually, mm, nah, maybe rethink your decisions. Uh, they've lost their official review and unfortunately Fire has fouled out of the game. You can get up to six penalties and stay in the game. Seven penalties, you've been too naughty and you do need to leave the track. Happens to the best of us sometimes, especially in a potluck game like this when you're not playing with your regular team and everything like that. But a round of applause for the amazing Fire captain of the Team Bush Country All-Stars. Buy her a drink later. If that's what she wants, ask and then, you know, say hi, be nice. Multiplayer block handed out. Number 88 from Coastal All Stars headed to the penalty box. And we have another power jam. Gnarly Quinn getting sent to the box. Rosetta out with lead. Rosetta has control. And she's coming up on the back of the pack. Her team staying still, not needing to assist, but still needing to maintain the pack. And calling it while Gnarly Quinn is still seated, I think. Yeah, still seated in the box. This is going to be another power jam start. Clever derby move there from the Country All-Stars. Who is here to support the Bushies? And who is here supporting the Brazilians? Who's here supporting the refs, NSOs and volunteers? I wanted to say, between the cheers of the Bushies and the Brazilians, there was pretty much just a hair's width between them. Yeah, refs and NSOs coming out tops, I reckon. Mad Hacker in front, lead jammer. Let's hear from Mad Hacker. Gnarly Quinn is out of the box and approaching the bush. Tight pack bush of three there. Some really nice triples work from both teams when they're blocking. Copter grabbing a goat at the back of the pack that is holding one of the opposition blockers at the back so that they can't reform with their own team. Oh, big tumble on the outside line. Betty Room went down there. A couple of other skaters. Let's have a little cuddle on the floor. We've all been there. There's two big benefits to holding back a goat. All sorts of different terminology, heard it called all sorts of different things. But if you hold one of the other team back in the pack, you have the pack. Doesn't matter where the rest of that other team's blockers are. If they're miles in front and they let that gap grow, you still have the pack. You do not need to cede to a jammer. Chaotic K marching her way through. She's lead jammer for the Coastal All-Stars. 
Yeah, that's more like it, everybody. Let's get some enthusiasm. A massive hit there from Chaotic K. Not long to go on this period. Six minutes left. Three points added by the Coasties before calling that jam off. Do you know what's going to happen in uh, just over six minutes? Another wave. Oh, we could do that next jam if you want. I we could do we it whenever you like, Mel. We totally need that. Yeah, I need the I need the cardio. But uh, no, what's going to happen in a little bit? Well, we're going to have some beautiful MVP awards that will be presented by each team. Uh, MVP Blocker and MVP Jammer awards sponsored by the wonderful Chuffed Skates Company. And then Chuffed Skates as well. It's going to be a really Chuffed Skates kind of situation because we're going to have a demo from some freaking incredible uh, non-roller derby specific skaters. So wait and see what they have in store for you. Nat out of hell making an absolute terror on the track. There was some beautiful jammer on jammer action at the start, but Nat came through, Nat's got lead, and we've also had a star pass. It's all been happening. Regular oh, it is all happening taken here. out there. She's up and running. All right, that is the end of this jam. All right, I reckon it's time for another wave. I'm not going to run this time. I'm going to start from here and we're going to go one, two, we want you three. To run. Are we ready? One, two, three. Oh. Back and back. All right, no, I'm going to have to run next time. No, oh, you're, you're I think so we're independent. Being, we're being let down My by the babies, people up they're the all grown up. you got to do it up the top there. They're letting us down. Oh, uh, all right, yeah. There's not enough tops up there. Is this the top shortage I've been hearing about? <laughs> oh, and Copter through, but it looks as if Kif took. No, Copter takes lead. Copter's and on Kif a power is in jam. the box. Power jam to country all stars. Copter, not habitually a jammer, but uh, doing fine work of it, picking up four points for Team Bush. And Kiff in the penalty box for a multiplayer block. Kiff standing. Can't hang on to your blockers. Copter calling that jam oh, off. Copter. Trapping Kiff in the penalty box, giving the Bushies a power start next time round. A beautiful thing to see Copter jamming, usually using those honestly absurd legs to cover about three quarters, five eighths or so of the track in a single stride. Can also jam, confirmed. So we've got Mad Hacker leading the power jam for the country all-stars. Mad Hacker can also jam, confirmed. Some nice assists coming through from the country all-stars, but Coastal doing really well not to let any space for Mad Hacker to come through. And Kiff's back on. We've got both jammers back on the track. Kiff's footwork is so fast. And that'll get you lead jammer, folks. Even after a 30 second penalty or thereabouts. Bouncing off the back of the pack there. Big hits being delivered by, I believe it was Regulator. Sorry, just talking amongst ourselves there. Just admiring the amazingness on the track. I was gonna. I was thinking about how I'm gonna do it on the wave, and I've had it requested very politely down here that I do run. So are we ready? One, two, three. Are you happy now? All right, with one and a half minutes on the clock for this period, this could be the last jam. Let's see what happens. We have got Coastal All-Stars in the lead. Nardi Quinn taking that. Rosetta Bloodstone just made it out as well. Yeah. 
Marley Quinn calling that jam off. We've Plenty time of time for, for many more. more jams, I think. I'm excited to see the Chuff Skates demonstration in between the games, but I'm also excited to check out the stalls, socialise, meet, mingle with my fellow roller derby enthusiasts. Perhaps Listen. purchase a refreshing beverage along with my several raffle tickets, which I will be buying. You do have less than a minute to do that raffle ticket, ticket buying. Less than a minute? Chaotic K trying to barge her way through. She's shown the outside line. In the meantime, Irish gets lead jammer. Irish trying to hide behind blockers. Chaotic K is her way through for a four point pass. She is lead jammer waving at her, her benchy, looking for some direction. Looking for some direction, maybe thinking, ah, oh, crap, I've got to get off this track. I've got to buy a raffle ticket. Irish eyeing up the gaps here, taking the inside line. Beautifully done and calling it. Unofficial score. And let's hear it for the Coastal All-Stars. They were Chaotic K, Gnarly Quinn, Madness, Kiff, Vixen, By Furious, Rathsputin, Betty Boom, Kali Ente, Alitude, Redman, Princess Fanny, Flutters, Ash Hazard, Makita, Nat Out of Hell, Moxie Monoxide, and Fantastic. And again for the Country All-Stars, Roxy Tosin, Lady Rack, Viper, Fire, the locally brewed Mad Hacker, Apple Pie Sexual, Irish, Regulator, Copter, Rosetta Bloodstone, Metallica, and Lemony Snakebite, Hawkeye Fierce, and Killer Tits. Okay. Give it up for your first game of roller derby between Team Moist, the Coastal All Stars, and Team Bush, the Country All Stars. The final score, 158 to 201. Extremely respectable effort put together by all parties involved. Speaking of all parties, we are about to check out a beautiful ad that is made uh, by one of the principal sponsors of World Pride. World Pride obviously uh, putting on, helping us put on this amazing event. Uh, and also, just after that, we're going to ask uh, some of the team captains to come up and present MVP awards sponsored by Chuffed Skates. So... Check out this beautiful ad. It's gay as hell. And uh, I'll see you in a little bit, yeah? Great. What do I bring to do? A little bit of viciousness. I bring to Roller Derby a lot of inappropriate fun. I'm an old, queer, indigenous skater. I'm a Marawari woman. You like to keep moving. The roller derby community is the most accepting place ever. All bodies are celebrated. They understand me, they accept me. And I can skate, I can be fit, I can be brave. When I play roller derby, I'm not Asian anymore. I'm turning into vicious villages. That's the beauty about this sport. You can express your identity. That was me. Having a smooth, silky, clean shaven leg, being able to put those fishnets on, not having the hair sticking out all over the place. Shaving under the armpits. I must really paranoid about getting shaved. Shaving under the armpits. 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 Shaving under the I need to be super, super, super smooth so I can go faster. My skin, my way, is definitely important that people do feel comfortable with. That there's no rules when it comes to how you represent the hair in the body. It's about being able to wear what I want, dress the way I want, have my hair the way I want. It's about having a way to express myself. My skin, my way, means I have total agency about 
what I'm going to be doing with my skin. If I choose to shave, great. I can do it and I can do it well. If I choose not to, I don't have to. It's about having sovereignty over my own body. It's my skin, it's my way. All right. Thank you very much to all of our skaters. Thank you to our beautiful officials as well. Commentators, who are those officials? Could you give me a little reminder? Maybe later. All right. We are about to have our wonderful, wonderful Chuffed Skates demonstration but first, we are going to present some MVP awards. Can I get the captains of Team... Oh, they're taking a photo. All right. Well, in the meantime, here are our beautiful officials. They're gone. Look, I never said I planned ahead. I came here dressed as a clown, and it's, you know, just expressing on the outside how I truly, truly am on the inside. All right, captains of Team Bush and Team Moist, or the Country All-Stars and the Coastal All-Stars, if you're nasty, over in the middle. I would like to have the captain of the Coastal All-Stars, Caging captain of the Coastal All-Stars, Ash Hazard. All right, so these are our beautiful awards for our All-Stars, sponsored by Chuff Skates. Just an example of their beautiful merchandise. Uh, skaters can, these are, they don't have to have these. They could exchange it for like a different color or texture or anything, but just so everybody here can see. But uh, yeah, so uh, as the victorious, oh, beautiful. We've got a microphone. Fantastic, all right. Now, that was such a good game, and it was close, and it was wonderful, and I wasn't actually barracking for anyone, just for Roll It Over Itself. So, who won? All right, so, let's start with the Coastal All-Stars awarding the MVP Blocker and Jammer. Who did good stuff? Everybody did good stuff. We don't have that many hats. Choose two. For sake of MVPs, our MVP Jammer is Irish. Irish, get over here. All right, and our MVP blocker is Lady Wreck. And and uh, for our victorious uh, all-star captain over here, who did good stuff for you? For our MVP uh, Jammer, we would like to award it to number six. I believe that's Chaotic K. Number six. And you told me you were super nervous before the game. Congratulations. MVP Blocker, we would like to award it to number 88. Number 88, who we got? Oh, yeah. Can Jam, can Blocker do anything? Congratulations to all of our MVPs. We're going to have the Chuff Skates demonstration. Yeah, let's get a photo of all the MVPs in the middle here. Beautiful. My name's Jack Be Quick. This is going to be Chuff Skates demonstration. Someone take a photo of these skaters, please. You know what you can do with that photo once you've taken it? Post it to Instagram. Tag NLS That's Roller right. Derby League. Excellent. Well, we are going to see you back here in just under 15 minutes. See you later, everybody. Wait a second, hang on. Somebody, 
I'm going to introduce somebody very, very special. In fact, instead of just like walking away, just dropping it and leaving. What's your name? I'm Bowser. Hi, Bowser. Would you like to take this microphone and have a little bit of a chat and in introduce yourself and the Chuff Skates crew? I'm going to do that after I hit the music. Would you like to hit the music? We can hit the music. Can we hit the music, please? All right, we're going to hit the music. Bowser's going to introduce the Chuff Skates crew, and you guys are going to watch and be amazed, inspired, in awe, etc. See you in a little bit. Okay, they're not going to take the microphone. Someone take the microphone. I love roller derby and I love Inner West Roller Derby League very passionately. So I was really stoked when they asked Chuff to do the halftime show. And we were like, dancing's pretty cool. Um, but what can we do that's in the real roller derby spirit, you know? So who wants to see a stunt show? Cool, cool. That might be good enough if we weren't risking our lives out here, you know? <laughs> so who wants to see a stunt show? <laughs> All right, who can I introduce you to? Who's up first? Hey, Nixie, the youngest and bravest member of the Chop crew. 180 out of the kicker, and we've got Ebony, another one of our Chuff Juniors. Oh, nice air with a grab. Who else have we got? We've got Rib from the Chuff crew. We've got Spag, 180. We've got Tyra, Zoe, and Spoon. Oh, fakey air. 360, give it up! All right, now, next up, I actually have a surprise. I'm very excited to announce Roller Skating's hottest couple is come to join us. Introducing Stabs and the Molotov Princess. Hit the music! What is happening with that quarter? Be useful now, hold my drink. Time for you to watch and learn. Hands off. Keep your hands off, boy. Slide on the rail like it's nothing. Rolling through the front door, six drinks in. Dad goes for a wall ride, almost makes it. Are we going to see it again? All right, give him some encouragement. I'm gonna give this whole party out. Oh! Watch me now. Casual backwards roll out of it. Um, now can someone tell me 
where the hell are Fran and Greta? Fran and Greta! Fran and Greta are also on the Chuck Juniors. They're known for their doubles runs and honestly their mischief. Come around with a shoot the duck. Casual turnaround toe stops. And a doubles off the kicker. Give it up for Fran and Greta. 360's out of it. Now there's one more person I really wanted to introduce you to today. She sadly can't be skating. She is the owner of Chuff Skates, the founder of Chuff Skates, who we love, Flambo. But I thought maybe there's a way that we can include her. So who wants to jump Flambo? All right, get down there, digging her own grave. Give it up for Slambo! Next up, we've got my favorite bit because really it's just confusing for my mind spatially how these things work, you know? It's like, where? Anyway, we're gonna skate the rail for you all. Let's hit it. We've got Zoe first up. One of our newer members of the Chuff crew. Hey, they make it. And Tara. Oh, bag killing it. Oh. Top 50 is the whole rail. Spoon hands in the pockets like it's nothing. Ah, hey. Oh. That's a sweaty. <laughs> through the front door, six Point me at the dance floor, throw me in. I'm a mama molotov. I'm a la la dog. I'm a mama molotov. I'm a get this old party y'all. Watch me now. Oh, backside slide like it's nothing. All right, that's us, everyone. Peace out. <laughs> I lied. It's time for the quarter. All right, let's hit it. Fran and Greta straight over the quarter like it's nothing. Rib 180s back in. Oh, top slices through the air. And spoon. Oh my. All right. Nixie, how old are you? 12. You're 12. Do you have any advice for the audience on facing your fears? Well, fears keep you from doing things and I don't want to um, not do anything um, <laughs> because um, I forgot. You only live once. Very wise words. Can you show us? a trick on the kicker, on the quarter. A cartwheel! All right, last tricks everyone, let's hit it. Rib 360s. Oh, tub with a grab. Come on, Come on, 
dabs with a clean judo. Oh, goes for the switch up. All right, Fran. Oh! All right, I want to see one more trick. We have Spoon with us today who we wanted to do a backflip for us, but He's injured his shoulder, so he reckons he's gonna get Nixie to do it for him. <laughs> All right, I'm out. Hit the music, that was Chopped and Friends. Thank you, everyone. Holy shit! Am I allowed to say shit? Holy shit! Chuffed! Our absolute maniacs! And I'm obsessed with them? Are you obsessed with chuffed skaters? I feel like I aged about 50 years, so I'm gonna go and have a little bit of sit down. We are gonna be back here for the next game, the big one. Team Australia versus the world in just under 15 minutes. Get yourself a drink, get yourself some merch. I will see you back here. No, 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 no. I'll see you back here, and that's when you get excited. Ready? I will see you back here. Get excited. They're all too busy sorting out their raffle tickets, entering into the Spunky Bruiser competition. They're just all so busy. Are the raffle tickets still available? Raffle tickets are still available. Buy them online. You can also uh, go down the back, check out some of our amazing stalls and merch, please. There are lots of things for you to get involved with. If all you want to do is save your seat at the front and take some photos of yourself, your awesome friends, this awesome venue, then please do tag Inner West Roller Derby League. Amazing. That's what I'm going to do. I'll see you there. I'm going to get off the track now because I feel like there might be something going on.
let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had a million, million nights just like this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Mama, please don't worry about me. I'm about to let my heart speak. My friends keep telling me to leave this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had a million, million nights just like this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had a million, million nights just like this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Back and forth, back and forth with the bullshit. No, I said it before, I don't mean it. It's been a while since I had your attention. So it might hurt to hit it. Fall away. We can't leave them if we stay the same. And I can't do this for another day. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business. Give you one more night, one more night to get this. We've had a million, million nights just like this. So let's get down, let's get down to business. Let's get down, let's get down to business Give you one more night, one more night to get this We've had a million, million nights just like this So let's get down, let's get down to business
waste of paper over me But wounds heal when tears dry and cracks they don't show So don't be so hard on yourself, no Let's go back to simplicity I feel like I've been missing me But it's not who I'm supposed to be I felt this darkness over me We all get there eventually I never knew where I belong But I was right and you were wrong Been telling myself all alone thing on it is on i turned it on hi everybody fancy seeing you all here just letting you know we are gonna get game number two team australia versus the world underway very very shortly welcome has anybody was anybody not here for the incredible first game give us a cheer if you're prepared to admit that like four people. This is awesome. Fantastic. All right. Now, if you enjoyed that first game and you thought it was freaking awesome, let me know. Yeah. So, like, it was fine, right? It was fine. It was fine? It was better. It was better than fine? Do you think it was better than fine? Do you think it was, like, fucking amazing? Ooh, sorry. Uh, flipping amazing. Yeah. I agree. This one is going to be even better because everybody's here, everybody's hyped, everyone's got their raffle tickets, got their merch. 
had a refreshing beverage, chatted to their mates, maybe made a new mate, tagged uh, Inner West Roller Derby in any of their social media posts, and uh, just generally settling in, having a really, really good time. Uh, my name is Jack Be Quick. I am joined here by the wonderful, wonderful melodrama and bone idol over here. Jack, have, yeah. you see, have you seen how good we look? I was just about to say, hot damn, you look good, you two. I reckon you look so good in that custom spunky bruiser outfit uh, each of you is wearing that I think you should strut your stuff right in front of me right here and right now. You can enter the Spunky Bruiser giveaway competition up until this game starts, I believe. So check them out. Handmade, locally made, ethical, sustainable, inclusive, durable, and extremely sexy and cool fashion made right here. It's very beautiful. Look how many pockets there are. You can fit anything you want in those pockets. Anything you want. Give us a twirl, everybody. Okay, some of the pockets may be fake, but it's because it's made from recycled materials, all right? Chill out. There's like six pockets. Do you think that if you were a derby player who had accumulated a lot of T-shirts that you didn't know what to do with, but you didn't want to keep wearing as a T-shirt, you could give it to them to make you a custom outfit? The way that you're phrasing that out, uh, that question implies to me that the answer is yes. Oh, we, yes? Okay, that's really cool. If you have too many Roller Derby t-shirts because you can't say no to buying merch, I have this very specific problem, you can take them to Spunky Bruiser and they'll custom make you. Give us a wave, Spunky Bruiser, in the middle here. Yeah, take, take your old derby t-shirts that you never wear because you've got 57,000 of them to Spunky Bruiser and get a custom outfit made. And if you don't have lots and lots of t-shirts, you could just steal some from the next door neighbor's clothes toys. Or you could do that. All right. Thank you very much, beautiful commentators. We are about to get our next game underway. Who's ready for some very high level, very fancy Australia versus the world roller derby? Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome back to the Luna Park Big Top stage. It's so nice that they made a stage just for me. Uh, I'm ready to see some damn good roller derby. We've got Team The World is coming up first. Give it up for Team The World. Commentators, who's playing here in Team The World? Team World. Team World, we have got Number four, Slamazon. Zero six, Stretch. Zero seven, Ramona Powers. Zero one three, Grim. One four, Hodo. Two one, Vanessa Shredgrave. Two two, Overreactor. Seven three, Push in Boots. Seven six. Bazza! Nine, three, Ray. One, eight, eight, Deadly Red. Two, one, two, Chili. Two, eight, eight, Chakram. Six, one, six, Ruby. One, nine, seven, five, Behemoth Rhapsody. Two, five, one, seven, Ezekiel. Two six two seven, hell's yeah. Three one zero eight, Lady Painicorn. And on the bench we've got Thunder Slut and Crisanto Greco. Ladies, gentlemen, everybody that feels slightly uncomfortable filling out government documentation because of the binary boxes they have to check, give it up for Team World! And what would Team World be without an opposition? Who's played on the other team? In Team Australia, could you please welcome Holly Funk? 
Number 15, Captain Marilyn Tantrum. Number 20, LaRage. LaRage. LaRage, what? I've been saying it wrong the whole time. Number 20, LaRage. Number 44, Revan Townsend. Number 73, Seeps the Day. 74, Supernova. 89, Massacre Jones. 118, Vicious Delicious. 162, Florence the Machine. 375, Pants. 570, Beers. 711, Mother Fuzzer. 925, Yoshi. 4000, Pavy. 1236, Madge. And 92, Godzilla. And on their bench, we have Val Freya and Copter. That's Team Australia. We are in for a real treat tonight. Several players from the actual international world beating Team Australia on the Team Australia team. And actually, I think a couple on Team World as well. And here's Team Australia, Jack. Who have we got officiating this officiating, game? Officiating, keeping us all in line and keeping us uh, within the boundaries of this track. We have the refs. Head ref is John Ref Kennedy. We've got Honey Badger, Spanners, Sparkles, Ron Bear, Denominator, Boom Tish, Candy Bunts, and Menace. And our non-skating officials, who we would be nothing without. We've got Ruby Soho, Motion Denied, General Pain, Resting Bitch Pace, Body Bagger, Ritual Ideas, Slice Skater, Mercy, Fairy Gobsmacker, and Nasty Surprise. Hands together for Team Zebra and Team NSO. Personally, I always barrack for Team Zebra. You're never disappointed. All right, who's ready for some derby? Australia versus the world. Here we go. Team Australia starting with Pavey on the jammer line. She is up against Ray. And we're off. And so is part of a kneecap. Set in the lead. Set in a blistering pace, Peggy gets lead jammer. About a foot in between them. That pack is going to have to hurry up. Jill losing her footing. That jam called off. No one getting points. Very different first jam to our first game this evening. It's like they've gone and put the sped up paint on the Sock Draw Hero track. I think it's just that the Chuff team just left the track so smoking. Oh, we got Buttercup here. Taking a run up on the, on the jam line there. Holly Funk going on the outside, Buttercup. Taking that line and getting through his lead jam up for Team World. And it paid off. And we got two in the box. Two in the box for Team World. Chakram up to jam for Team World. Going to be making the most of their two blockers. Yoshi trying to use those long legs to step out and they do get lead jam status for Team Australia. Chakram with the panty off and in the hand trying to get past those magical blockers.
All right, and this is going to be an official time out. We are in injury time, so we are going to, uh, unfortunately, we're going to engage the services of our wonderful St. John Medics team, who will walk and not run over. Thank you very much to St. John Ambulance for providing medical support to our skaters. It might be easy to forget, but they are kind of risking life and limb from doing it. Give a round of applause to St. John and injured skaters who are extremely badass. All right, what else have we got? We don't have any more raffle tickets to, uh, to Spruik, so probably just spend all your money on merch or, I don't know, heading over to the after party after this, which There's is at the Oxford Tavern, I believe. Is that right? There is certainly lots of really fabulous merch, but yes, the after party is at the Oxford Tavern. I, I personally would like to know a little bit about the, um, the sponsors of the track. Would that be Sock Draw Heroes? It is Sock Draw Heroes. And actually, oh, what a coincidence that you mentioned this, Mel. I've got so a Sock Draw Hero themselves right over here. What is your name? My name's Aaron. My pronouns are they, them. Hi, Aaron. Lovely to meet you. Now, Sock Draw Heroes, who are you? And what are you doing here? Oh, who are we? That's a big question. So, Sock Draw Heroes, we're a company we started in 2018, basically to provide gender expression gear to people in Australia. That's awesome. So but when you say gender expression gear, could you give us some examples of what sort of gear it is that you sell? Okay, so we sell binders, packers, tucking gaffs, anything for trans, queer, non-binary people to feel more comfortable in their body. Fantastic. So you make people look good, feel good? Yeah, absolutely. Just have a more positive time in their life. That's amazing, that is excellent. So check out Sock Draw Heroes who are sponsoring our track tonight. If you are interested in purchasing any gender affirming gear to make you look and feel amazing in your body, uh, no matter how you want to present. So that's yeah, binders, tucking gaffs, packers, etc. Yeah. Awesome. Do you have a stall here today? Uh, we don't have a stall, but we are online. Where can we find you? So you can find us at www.sockdrawheroes.com. Fantastic, www.sockdrawheroes.com. Thank you so much, Erin. You're welcome. Well, let's turn back to the action on the Sock Draw Heroes track. What do we got going on, Cummies? We've got PP on the track, Pavey jamming for Team Australia, and we've got Push in Boots jamming for Team World. And it is Pavey through as lead jammer. And we have a panty off ahead there for Team World. And Mother Fuzzer from Team Australia heading to the Better Betterings penalty box. Slammers on, not able to add any points to the score. Team Australia leading 6-0. All right, and heading back onto the track, we have a formidable lineup there. That is Seeds the Day, Florence the Machine, and Marilyn Tentrum, your captain of Team Australia, lining up with one of their blockers and one of Team World's blockers in the Better Bearings penalty box. Holly Funk stuck on the jammer line. Easy, easy kill. Behemoth Rhapsody, and someone else managed to, oh, that would be Hodo, managing That's to Hodo. hold Molly back. A very difficult pack to get past. Holly Funk giving it a second go, third go after getting recycled. So it's one of the drills you do a lot of when you're training for roller derby, forcing against those triangles, trying to find a way through. It's very tiring, very hard work. And saves the day, getting a bit of an offensive hit there from Overreactor, but still maintaining the hold that they have on Holly Funk. And it's power jam time. Sorry, not on Holly Funk, that's Chili. Saves 
teams today, though, heading to that oh, no, better bearings not. penalty box for their troubles. It's traffic going every which way right now. Chili making their way to the pack. Marilyn Tantrum showing us why they're the captain of Team World, Team Australia. Only blocker on the track at that time for Team Australia, still managing to knock out and drag back that Team World Jammer. So if you were keeping your eye on the box, what happened was Team Australia had two blockers sitting in the box. We had one more blocker approach, but as there wasn't a seat for them to sit on, they got sent back to the track. They will be serving that penalty later on. Low scoring so far after four gems. Four points to Team World, six points to Australia. Some excellent defensive work being done by both teams. There are some extremely accomplished roller derby skaters on this track. And jamming for the first time today, we have for Team World, Vanessa Shredgrave up against Pavey for Team Australia. This is not an unfamiliar matchup to anybody who's been watching high level Australian Derby for a little while. That was some very nice synchronized calling from the refs there. That was that was beautiful. Shredgrave is through his lead jammer. Pavey not too far behind her. Pavey catching up, putting on that famous Pavey wavy speed, heading into the pack. It is a hectic pace. It's terrifying, quite frankly. Three points added to the score, Team World. In front, that is a lead change. A lead change. Team World ahead of Team Australia. And every time there is a lead change, you are obliged, as audience members, you are obliged to go and check out the website of one of our sponsors. You could go to www.sockjawheroes.com if you felt so inclined. Vicious Delicious being recycled behind Behemoth Rhapsody. They are jamming in the black for Team Australia and they get lead jammer status. Rave quickly out after them. Chasing them down is Vicious Delicious going to be able to score some points. Oh! Massive apex jump there from Ray. Yeah, give it up for the apex jumps. Rewarded with four big points. Team World managing to hang on to that lead. I reckon we should start keeping track of how many apex jumps we see successfully completed in this game, because I've got a feeling there might be a couple. Was that the first one so far? I think it might have been. I'm pretty sure it is. I think the first successful, we definitely had one from Kiff in the first game. Yes. I think it might have led to a, to a penalty of the sorts. Oh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep track of the successful ones. I've got a tally that I'm going to keep. Buttercup going for the running start, but not really getting much momentum from there and actually being sent off for a track cut. That gives the power jam to Holly Funk. It's not something that you really want to do too often. Holly Funk is through, lead jammer. Beautiful work. Block is running away from Holly. Holly has the pace to be able to keep up. Now, although Team Australia might want to slow things down, they're not allowed to drastically alter the speed of the pack. Holly just stepping her way through. Four points. Overreactor finding the track and getting to the better bearings penalty box. And we got Buttercup back on. Look at that, pushing so hard and barely moving. That triangle of fierce blockers from Team Australia. Whereas Holly Funk, Already through again on another pass. Roller Buttercup. Derby is uh, a place in which we call getting stuck tightly squeezed between two butts the sad place in contrast with, you know, the rest of life. Buttercup with the 
jam our panty in hand. That usually means they want to hide it or pass it. Holly Funk knowing that there's no points getting scored by Team World on this pass, letting that clock run. A fantastic jam for Team Australia. Let's hear it for Holly Funk. And that is another lead change, more than doubling Team Australia's score in a single jam. 11 points plays 22. Just under 20 minutes on the clock for this first period. We've got Shakram and uh, Pavey up to jam. Now a last minute change of strategy there from Team World with the blockers running back and trying to present a hard wall there for Pavey, but it not paying off through, scoring points. Pavey up against Hodo, who is unable to hold back the unstoppable force of Pavey Wavy. And Team World still trying to make it through. We can see we got Hodo pivot there with Jammer Panty in hand, but getting sent to the bin. That's Jammer off. Do you know what that does mean though? It means that we might get to see Hodo jam a little bit longer and I do love it when we get to see Hodo jam. So I'm happy even though Hodo might be sad. That is a big hit, baby, bouncing off the Team World wall. Twelve points so far for the Team Australia. You might hear back in the crowd some instructions being yelled from the bench, telling the team what's happening. The combination of Ezzy Kill and Deadly Red knocking out and dragging back Pavey. No mean feat as Hodo re-enters the fray on turn two. Only two blockers from Team Australia on the track means Hodo gets through. They are coming back up to the back of the pack, coming up to, I think, the first scoring pass in this jam. And it's called just before they make it. I think, yeah, no points to Team World. 16 to Team Australia. Team Australia on an absolute tear. 12 points and now 16. 11 points plays 38. Chipping away at that score, stretching out that lead. Just nine jams in. Who's having an amazing time? Who's incredibly impressed with the uh, high, high level of roller derby that we are seeing before our very eyes today? Yoshi Nobody. back on the track with the jammer star. And pushing boots for Team World. Both of them having a hard time making progress. Some really great blocking. We quite often call out the jammers for their awesome work, but I think just seeing how hard it is for both these jammers to make it through. It's testament to the, the good work that all of these blockers are doing. That's a fast paced pack. Pushing boots with the lead and calling it before Yoshi can score any points. Good that idea. Was Ooh, that was such a fast-moving pack. The uh, outside pack refs absolutely banging it around the outside to keep up. Outside pack refing, incredibly difficult job because you have to go faster than the skaters. And these are some of the fastest skaters in the literal world. So how good are our zebras, our team officials? Made also that little bit harder. The track is a little bit smaller in the outside track for the referees. They're definitely doing a fantastic job. And we see Holly Funk take the outside line to get lead jammer for Team Australia. Chili not far behind there. Holly just getting a, a little bit of a lift there from one of her blockers. Just like that, we are nearly halfway through this first half. 
It's an official timeout. What are we going to do with this official timeout, I wonder? What are we going to do? All right, I want to see who's brought a sign for their favourite skater. I see an Elise. Okay, we've got a It's a Hoedown, a Go Hodo. We've got one for Hodo. Do we have any other signs for our favourite skaters? Oh, who's that? Stop wiggling them, I can't see. Is that Sebs? Oh, Sebs the Day. We've got several Lammers. Sebs the Day fans who've been to Officeworks, they have a laminator. <laughs> Incredible. Wait, what's happening here? Oh, uh, I would like to also have a gun show. I, I actually purchased tickets online in advance to the gun show. Oh, Pavey or oh, Hodo! Woo! Damn, that's the only gun show we're getting. Anybody else? I think the uh, Jam Time is giving us an incredible gun show as well. Yeah! Can we get a gun show you, from... You missed Toto's gun show from over here. Yeah! All right, that's pretty good. Okay, we've got another sign that says, Go Yoshi and Fuzz. Go Yoshi and Fuzz. All right, and we are about to be are, back on. They are two of Inner West's finest. Inner West proud, proud hosts of today's Sydney World Pride game. And it's evens on the track, three up to block for each team. Team World getting really tight in on Pavey there. But Those through guns they getting get. Through. But Ray is making ground. Do you think I gave the game away there? Do you think Pavey heard me? And then called it. Love a bit of zebra love. The disappointing thing is that the crowd don't hold up signs for the officials. Was that someone cheering for Boom Tish just now? <laughs> Buttercup up against Yoshi. Both packs a little bit smaller. Yoshi with three to beat, Buttercup with two. Yoshi with fast legs. So nimble on those toe stops, both of them. Just trying to find a gap, trying to find a space. Jill is back in to offer an assist for Yoshi. Nearly enough to get them through. Buttercup caught on the chest. Slammers on off to the better bearings, better bearings penalty box. And that's Yoshi getting recycled once again behind a behemoth Rhapsody. Devastating emotional blows as a jammer when you feel like you're out of the pack and then nah, extra blockers come up. They meet you, they greet you, they crush your soul. Buttercup stopped in the tracks by that incredible Team Australia three wall. Yoshi having a similar time towards the back of the pack. Both, both packs being aware of the multiplayer block. So when you are holding each other like that, you do need to make sure that you're not impeding the jammer by holding hands. Team World getting some points, starting to close that gap there in that last jam. Seven points to Team World, 18 to 42. And up to jam for Team World next, we've got Shakram. Holly Funk sneaking up the inside. It's like no one saw her. Amazing footwork. Lead jam status for Team Australia again. Shakram getting dragged back by the Team Australia pivot. Saves the day. He'll also meet Shakram on the outside line, but Shakram jumps over that outstretched butt. Makes it through with a star stash. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we are now again in injury time. What are we going to do about that? What are we going to do about that? Oh, I'm going to let you know that at the end of this period, in 12 minutes and 18 seconds or thereabouts, we will be announcing the raffle prize winners. I don't know if you remember, but there are 11 raffle prizes. I have the list of prize winners right here in my hot little hand, and I'll be reading them out and telling you what you can do to collect your prize. These are some pretty incredible prizes, so stick around for that. Just at half time of this game, we will be announcing the winner of the, uh, what's it called? The giveaway, the Spunky Bruiser giveaway at the end of this game as well. And uh, yeah, next coming up, I believe, I think, do we have any more interviews to conduct? Yeah. Give me I, somebody to interview. I'd, I'd like to hear from someone from the Inner West Roller Derby League. So would I. Would, would maybe, who would be the president? El maybe. Presidente. All right, so the president is actually currently being interviewed by somebody far more qualified than myself. So. Someone more qualified? Yeah. Uh, what I'm, Oprah yeah. Winfrey? Yes. Oprah's here. Hmm. Believe it. You better believe it. I reckon... Hmm. What are we going to do? I reckon let's... Uh, let's get the crowd going, hey? All right. Big round of applause for injured skaters. And continue the round of applause for the wonderful medical staff from St. John Ambulance, keeping us safe and as healthy as anybody who willingly decides to strap wheels from their feet and hit their friends at full speed can possibly be. It's so like physically healthy, like physically, you know, it's good. Might be another good time to go and get yourself a refreshing beverage or similar other kind of refreshment. Might be a good time to turn to the person next to you and make a friend. Might be a time to go and get something from the Spunky Bruiser stall, the uh, Better Bearings merch, Chuff Skates. What do you reckon, Bo? I, I reckon, Jax, with your roving mic, oh, yeah. you might want to go and have a look around because uh, yeah, yeah. it says here we've got a little bit of interest on uh, mullets. Mullets. Can you find us? Some fantastic I will. mullets I would, in the audience. I would Dominic. love to find us some mullets in the audience. Who's got a mullet? Dominic, a mullet. If you're Hands sitting up. next to someone, mullets up. sitting if you've behind got a mullet, someone. Dump them in. Dominic we love seeing them. Do you have any Be interest proud. in being filmed? It's almost, I think it's Possibly. a mullet. I reckon Possibly it's a mullet. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. This week, where are the mullets? Are you not gay? Oh, oh, we have a, stereotypes to fulfill, people. Come mullet. on. Jack, I've got to look upstairs. Scissors. Upstairs, all right. Upstairs, have, there's mullets we have upstairs. upstairs mullets? They're in the posh drinking area. Oh, come on, people. How is there no posh drinking area mullets? This can't be right. What's happening? Where are the mullets? Do we have skaters with we, mullets? We're going to have to rev revoke the, um, the gay license. Yeah. If you're not wearing you a mullet. You know what we can do? Who's got the most colours in their hair? Who's got the most colours in their hair? I can see purple. I can see there's two here, two tones. Two. We okay, can do better. Actually, than two. do you know what? Do you know what? I'm I'm over the hair. I'm interested in this uh, gun show that's going on in the crowd, mimicking our wonderful, wonderful jam timer. Jam timer. What's your name? Resting bitch face. Resting bitch face. Resting Bitch Face doing incredible jam timing work. I would say actually more like glam timer, to be honest. <laughs> the poise, the dignity, the grace, the style of our NSOs. Look at this, look at this. Sister Violence from WA has a fan club. I'm starting, I'm now the chair of the Resting Bitch Face fan club. Okay, all right. Okay, absolutely not. Uh, can I be the secretary? Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, do you have anything that you would like to say about Resting Bitch Face? They are the most beautiful jam timer I've ever seen. Aww. Most beautiful jam timer that uh, Kaoda K has ever seen? That's your name? It is, yes. 
Excellent. How good are our officials, really? Do you want to become a Roller Derby official? That is something to keep in mind, really. When you sit here and you watch Roller Derby and you see people push into each other and skating around and having that amazing level of fitness, if you want to be a little bit calmer, perhaps a little bit less fit, you could become anyone here in the game. We got, non we got a couple officials. more mullets, but we've got no time for mullets. I'm disappointed in all of you, quite frankly, and I do have a pair of scissors in my backpack if anyone's interested in a fresh mullet. But, uh, Sounded like a threat. Oh, we got a bit of an interview happening here. Is that is that correct? Would you like to step over here and take up the microphone? Who isn't grateful for that? Somebody, uh, somebody who's honestly far too modest. Can you please introduce yourself? <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Rainbow Smash. I'm president of Inner West Roller Derby League. Amazing, amazing. So you're responsible for all of this, or was there somebody else helping? Uh, we are a dream team at Inner West Roller Derby League. It is not one person because many people make light work, I can tell you. And I'm so proud of all the volunteers. Anyone you see in these purple shirts, I can tell you the amount of work we have put in to make this event as special as it is tonight. It's been huge. So thanks Fantastic. for coming tonight. How long have you been working on this event? <laughs> Over a year. Over a year. Yep. Over a year of Over work to put year. this together. Yep. My God, you've done an amazing job of it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All of Inner West that have contributed to making this happen. That's it's it. genuinely incredible. We were very fortunate to receive a grant from World Pride to be part of the World Pride Sports Festival. And that happened. The Olympics of being gay. Yeah. <laughs> Inner West Roller Derby League are the gold medal winners. I believe it, I believe it. I think you deserve every gold medal, just like, <laughs> just have them, you know? We're so proud of all of the skaters that have gotten involved in our event, as well as all of the, the refs, people behind the, the, all behind the scenes, everybody. But I'm just, I just wanna showcase the athleticism, the amazing strength, um, and the, the sportspersonship that's going on here tonight. Um, I think we should all give Team Australia a bit of a roar now. Let's go. And also Team World doing an amazing job too. Woo! But Jack, I'm so glad that you gave me the chance to chat because I really do want to talk about Inner West Roller Derby League being so proud about this event in particular. Our values around pride and diversity are really strong. They're really what we're all about as a sporting club. We want to give people who are marginalised in our community a place to play competitive sport. People who are trans and gender diverse need a place to play competitive sport and roller derby is the thing for them. And we're so glad about it, they're here. Absolutely, yes. Give it up for gender diversity in sport. You. Look at Roller Derby modelling the way, hey? It's fantastic, honestly. Roller Derby generally has one of the most progressive, I think the most progressive gender policies of any competitive sporting league. The sky actually hasn't fallen about that. And I've said it before and I'll say it again, I think it's so important that Roller Derby leagues do events like this. And really at a time when there are attacks on trans people, uh, and queer people in sport to say really loudly, really clearly with your whole chest, like trans people belong in sport and deserve a safe space to be in sport at yes. all levels. Yes. And also really specifically saying that trans women belong in women's sport. Most certainly. Yeah. yeah. There's no LGB without the T, am I right? Yes, very true. Thank you, Inner yeah. West. Is there anything that you would like to promote for Inner West? Do, are you uh, like recruiting new members or anything? Oh, we're always recruiting new members. We have Learn to Skate and Learn to Derby programs starting in just a couple of weeks. Coaches, get ready, please. Um, all of those skaters over there can teach you to skate as well. If you're in Sydney, there's multiple leagues across Australia though, so wherever you are, just have a look for your local club and people are always welcoming. You can come and skate, even if you've never been on wheels before, we're always welcome to brand new members. I have a question. Great. Rainbow, what happens if you want to be involved in roller derby but you're not really into skating? Is there a space at Inner West Roller Derby League 
for non-skaters. There's always a place for non-skaters. We have so many people doing different things. So we've got people who come to our training and blow whistles, the referees. You can work towards being a referee on skates. Hands up to all of our officials who are not on skates out the back over there. There's so many different positions. Woo! We can't play our sport without all of these people. But you're right, Mel, because there's so many places you don't have to actually be on skates. You don't even have to learn all of those rules. You can actually just come and be part of our family, be involved in our sport, help us out on the merch stand, help us out behind the camera. Do whatever it is to be part of this community because we are a community that is completely inclusive. You belong with us, you become part of our family and you can be who you want to be when you're with us. Sounds gay, I'm in. Super gay, love it. Thank you so much, Rainbow. Thank, Thank you for all of your hard work. Thank you all of the Inner West Roller Derby League volunteers as well. Yeah. Everybody here, give it up for Inner West Roller Derby League at this Roller Derby Extravaganza. <laughs> Fantastic. So also, yeah, if you're uh, if you're interested, if you're watching this, you're like, I could do that. Uh, first of all, what's wrong with you? Second, it takes so much work. But second of all, it's so much fun. You actually probably could do that if you you know got involved and put in the work and such. So sign up to Inner West Roller Derby League or your local Roller Derby League as well. There are quite a lot of them around. Mel and Bones, I was wondering, maybe you could run us through some of the leagues that some of our wonderful skaters here come from tonight. We have got representation from so many different leagues. Just on Team Australia, we've got Newcastle Roller Derby League. Give me a cheer for Newcastle. We've got VRDL. Who's here from out of state? Who's here from Melbourne? I want to hear you. I know this. I know there's some of us here. Okay, maybe they're, not. They're a placid lot. We've got Westside. No, we don't. We've got Westside Roller Derby. Yes. We've got WA Roller Derby. Oh, there they are. <laughs> they brought their guns too. You're going to be pretty passionate to come all that way for some roller derby. And we've got CRDL as well. Where's, where are they from? Canberra? The Canberra Can -Can. roller derby? We've nice. also got Varsity from Can Can as well. Nice. We've got Dunedin from across the ditch. Do we? We do. Dunedin? Yes. Oh my God. Well, see, do we? Because I'm looking at my list. My list says stretch is from Dunedin. But when you look at Stretch's shirt, it says Buttercup. Ah, I definitely was confused. calling them Buttercup. Not sure. Sorry, Not Stretch. Sure. We also have Adelaide Roller Derby League. Oh, we've got Convict City from Tasmania. We do. We've got quite a few convicts, actually. And Diamond Valley, where is Diamond Valley? It's a little bit northeast of Melbourne. There you go. And where is Buffalo City? Where is Buffalo City? Wait. Is that, is that somewhere else in the world? Is that somewhere else in the world? Can someone confirm or deny? Where is Buffalo City Roller Derby? That's Crisanto on bench for Team World. Crisanto, where are you from? Come over and tell us. I'm going to go find Toronto? out. Is that someone just yelled out Toronto? New York. You could literally be saying anything right now and all I can see is peanut butter jelly time. There's no peanut butter jelly town. <laughs> You're fibbing. Toronto. Confirmed. Santa is from Canada. New York and Toronto. So that okay, is, from it's Canada. a very, very, very big city. People have come from Canada and the US. And New Zealand. I guess it is the world. That all those places are in the world. So we're just getting our skaters warmed back up again. Yeah. Do we want to hear who's playing for each team again? I do. Give us a yeah if you want to. 
All right, playing for Team Australia, we have number three, Holly Funk. Number, <laughs> number 15, Marilyn Tantrum. And number 20, LaRage. See, I said it right. 44, Revan Townsend. 73, Seeds the Day. 74, Supernova. 89, Massacre Jones. 118, Vicious Delicious. 162, Florence the Machine. 375, Pants. 570, Beers. 711, Mother Fuzzer. 925, Yoshi. 4000, Pavy. And 1236, Madge. Oh, and 92, Godzilla. And we do have an injured skater on Team World, but representing them who came tonight, we have had number four, Slamazon, zero six, Stretch or Buttercup, depending if we're going on shirts or, yeah, no one knows. Uh, zero seven, Ramona Powers, zero one three, Grim, one four, Hodo, two one, Vanessa Shredgrave. 2-2, two, two, Overreactor. 7-3, Pushing Boots. 7-6, Baza. 9-3, Ray. 1-8-8, Deadly Red. 2-1-2, two, two, Chili. 2-8-8, two, eight, eight, Chakram. 6-1-6, six, six, Ruby. 1-9-7-5, Behemoth Rhapsody. 2-5-1-7, Ezekiel. 2627 Hells Yeah and 3108 Lady Painicorn. All right, and that will conclude our injury time. Once again, let's give a big sympathetic round of applause to injured skaters. We love them. Yeah, come on. Give us a big cheer. Somebody hurt themselves. So, your entertainment. Are you not entertained? My name is Russell Crowe, and I will continue emceeing this event. Well, we are lining up on the jam line. We've got Pushing Boots for Team World and... Uh, Holly, Funk Holly Funk for Team for Australia. Australia. They are on the Sock Draw Hero track. Pushing Holly. Boots. Picking up a lead there. Holly trying to get past Hodo over Reactor. And, and World are through. We've got Pushing Boots. First scoring pass, another four points for Team World. Starting to close that gap. Low block given the to Team Australia. That blocker off to the better bearings penalty box. Holly, Holly Funk, Funk, I think, still trying to make their first pass through the pack. Team World are really, really putting on some awesome blocking here. And in something I don't see very often, it's Holly Funk taking the jammer start off. Considering the options of hanging on to it or passing it over to someone else. Well, we are in a power jam as Push and Boots has taken a seat in the Better Bearings penalty box. So Team Australia are going to be really giving it a go of trying to get some points while they've got an opportunity to play all offense. And there's the pass. But the pass oh, was bad. But. The star goes back to Holly. Holly goes to the penalty box. It's a power jam now for push in boots. And with both jammers having served time in the box for this jam, it will run for the full two minutes. No chance of reprieve. It becomes that much harder when you've got no option, when you haven't got the chance to... No breather. Pushing boots, marching over the top of Team Australia. And that jam coming to an end after two long minutes. Two long minutes, but 12 whole points for Team World. This is still such a tight game, everybody. We've got 30 points on the board for Team World, 46 for Team Australia. Honestly, that is a single power jam worth of points difference. And 10 minutes. Sorry. Starting off on a power jam as well, although Holly is standing in the box. It is a power jam start for Team World. Team World have the advantage. 
And any, it player is. St any player standing in the penalty box means they have 10 seconds or less to serve. Holly already back on the track. Finds that outside line in his lead jammer for Team Australia. Holly up against that Team World Wall. We have got all players on the track again. This has happened so rarely in this game and we've had a star pass over to Hodo and Holly seeing the threat there and uh, calling it off. So our score now, standing at 30 to Team World, 50 to Team Australia. We like it when it's nice, easy maths. Because maths. Just because maths. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha you on the maths. Right, lining up, we've got Yoshi for Team Australia and Ray for Team World. We've got all our blockers on the track. And first through is Ray for Team World taking Lee Jammer. Yoshi with a track card. I thought I thought they managed to keep their toes in, but apparently not. So they have gone to the penalty box. Oh, and would you say that was a an apex jump there, Mel? Yeah, maybe not. I'll keep it off the telly for now. Ray loves that inside line and is extremely good at taking it, picking up another four points. Giving Ray a power jam is a dangerous position for any team to My be in. Gosh, and Ray is storming through for Team World. That's 12 points. We're only 45 seconds into this jam. Massive hit laid out Ray there by Florence the Machine. Fancy feet though, keeps her in. That's right, proving... Uh, We've got Yoshi back on track, coming through, but panty in hand, so. Yoshi just putting the pedal to the metal, getting their way through. <laughs> Ray calling that jam off. Sometimes you just, you just fall down laughing and you know you're not gonna be able to recover your composure. That looks like, uh, that's what happened to Ray there. Took a, took a spill safely down onto their knees, um, but just got the giggles. Hard to jam with the giggles, hard to catch your breath. Do you know what? I'm having a little look at that scoreboard and that looks like the score is even after that jam. That means there has to be a lead change at the end of this jam, does it not? Ooh. Buttercup working to make it in their favour. Overreactor off to the Better Bearings penalty box. This looks like a drill. We have got three blockers per jammer, side by side on the track. Some really tight walls here, really good work, but Buttercup makes it through and takes the lead for Team World. Revan Townsend still fighting their way through. Directional block, and I think that was what Jack was explaining before the break. You do need to keep moving forward in this game if you're going to block anyone. Revan yep. making their way around. And that jam coming to an end. Still 50, oh no, nope. two points to Team World, three Look. points to Team World. It's all about perspective. I can just see one finger <laughs> hidden by other fingers. There it is on the board, three for Team World. Team World takes the lead. Looks like a lead change to me. Alrighty, Chakram up on the jammer line for Team World. And Holly Funk out the front, pushing against those team and out of those two Team World blockers. Holly Funk takes the lead. Shaker managing to get away from Mother Fuzzer, just the last ditched effort of throwing the booty out. Speaking of throwing the booty out, Hodo knocking Holly Funk to the ground where she's gonna go ahead and call that off being like, nah, I'm not really interested in that happening again immediately, which I personally think is fair enough. 
And people watching at home or maybe watching from here might notice every now and again someone in the purple volunteer shirt running out there with a little bit of tape. Anytime any of the any time any of the tape comes up off the track, it's very important to, to keep that secure so nobody trips on whatever it is that's underneath. And if you haven't noticed them yet, that's because they're doing such a good job. Do you know what I truly haven't noticed? They're so sneaky. <laughs> Vicious Delicious trying to make their way through. But the pushing so boots, making it out, taking lead for Team World. Team World making a comeback. Pushing boots is your lead jammer, meaning uh, Marilyn Tantrum and Florence the Machine now up against Seems the Day. And it's a power jam for Team World with Vicious Delicious sent to the penalty box. And two of their blockers. And penalty three or oh, one game getting sent back. Absolute penalty storm there for Team World. It seems today is going to head back to the track until there's space for them in the Better Bearings penalty box. Look at that. Only one blocker in play on the track for Team Australia. And they absolutely managed to hold back the jammer. Awesome work there from Florence the Machine, all by herself on the track. Absolutely and still named. being effective. Team Australia, no jammer on the track, but a jammer in the Better Bearings penalty box. It's a nice little straight line up there on the pivot line. Pivot line. Who this uses is, pivot lines these days? This is vintage. Pivot line start all crouching down. Chili with a running start. Bumped oh. out of bounds. Vicious Delicious tearing it up, making their way through. Massacre Jones doing a bit to stop Chili in the tracks. And we have got Vicious Delicious back in the box. Oh! Double jammer box. Can never have two jammers in the penalty box. You can only have one jammer because someone needs to be scoring points. So first to sit down essentially sets the time the second will serve. When that second bum hits the seat, the first jammer is released and the second jammer serves the same amount of time that was covered there. Blink and you'll miss it. This game does not work without jammers. Delicious, delicious pirouetting their way onto the ground, having to get up off the sock draw hero track. And with both jammers having gone to the box, we have no lead again. We've got one minute left of this jam and it's going to be fought out all the way. And fought hard. There is a lot happening here. Ref's doing an amazing job of seeing through what is a very tight pack and some jammers fighting through. Who have we got nearest the front? Who's going to be out first? Easy kill, Mother Fuzzer and Hodo bringing Vicious Delicious to an absolute halt. Some really nice offensive work there from Madge, breaking up that three-person Team World triangle. The jam is starting to look tired now. And that exhausting jam coming to a halt. They will all need a good little bit of rest after that. that Team, was World ten Team World, <laughs> 10 points ahead. The alliteration is just killing me. Not long to go left in this period either. This could be our last, our last jam. Yoshi up against Ray, both going on the inside. Blockers clearing the deck for their jammers and that gets Ray out in front for Team World. Ray, absolute queen of the fast footwork there. Yoshi doing their bit to uh, try and take Ray's title off him, but sent to the Better Betterings penalty box for the troubles, leaving Ray free on a power jam. Scooting through on the inside. 
We have a breath that's lost a toe stop, but we are all okay. And look at that! You wanted your apex jump, you got it! Riding it down. Beautiful work coming back through. We got another ref stepping in to help out. And jam ref. Luckily, that ref is going to have plenty of time now to get that toe stop fixed because it is intermission time now. So you've got approximately uh, 15 minutes or so for, I mean, essentially whatever you really want to do. We're going to have a bit of an interview with the team captains in a little bit. Wait, 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 wait. Don't go anywhere. I said for whatever you want to do, but I was wrong. Because what we do have is some raffle winners, 11 raffle winners to be exact. So if you bought a raffle ticket, which I certainly hope you did, because it's not like you weren't told, <laughs> hold on to your seats. Have I a look at your raffle tickets. I didn't buy any raffle tickets. Well, I mean, whose fault is that, Mel? You've been doing the telling. I, I'm sorry. Do you? Sorry. <laughs> I also didn't buy any raffle tickets. I'm so sorry. Do you have names there? Or are people do. going to need to bring up their ticket numbers? I do. I've got names. So, uh, 11th prize winner. Who's the 11th prize from? The 11th prize is from Miners Barbary. Miners Barbary. It's We've got the winner. Gift it's voucher. A gift voucher for $40. And that goes to Mary Sinclair. Mary Sinclair. If you are here, Mary, head on down to the merch table, the Inner West merch table to organize that. Oh, that seems today's mum. Hi, Mary. Nice one. All right, 10th prize, uh, which is a Sock Joy Heroes voucher worth $40. We've got Shelly Rom. Shelly Rom. If you're in the building, you can claim your prize. Step up, Shelly. Who's the uh, ninth prize coming from? It's ninth prize, we've got a pack of, a pack, that came out weird, a pack of rock solid bearings from Better Bearings, valued at $45. And that's been won by Katrina Henderson. Katrina Henderson, you get a, pair, a pack of Better Bearings. All right, eighth prize is a JB Hi-Fi voucher worth a hundred bucks. Rachel Ailes, Eels, Ailes, E Y L E S. Rachel, you can go have a little shop at JB Hi-Fi. Seventh prize comes from World of Wheelcraft, also a hundred dollar voucher. Samantha Kennedy Hellstrap, Samantha Kennedy Hellstrap. Head on down to the merch desk. Who's our? Uh, what's the next prize? It's another one of those $100 World of Wheelcraft vouchers. Oh my goodness, and that goes to Shannon Mack. Shannon, Shannon Mack, $100 voucher. Fifth prize it's and a voucher. fourth prize. Yeah, what are they? World of Wheelcraft voucher. Worth $100? $100. $100, bucks. all right. Fifth prize goes to Rachel Sinclair. If Rachel Sinclair is any relation to Mary Sinclair, that's a very lucky family. And uh, fourth prize goes to Catherine Flood. Rachel Sinclair and Catherine Flood, you've won $100 vouchers for World of Wheelcraft. Third prize, Inner Western Roller Derby League merch pack worth 200 bucks. Kelly Tank. Kelly. First of all, great name. That's a derby name like built in, Kelly Tank. What a lucky Second bugger. prize, what's the second prize? We're getting to the big three really actually. Second prize, what's that? It's the Inner West Roller Derby League Learn to Skate program, valued at $220. $220 worth of uh, monetary value, infinite mm. emotional, spiritual, mental, social value. Inner West Roller Derby Learn to Skate program goes to Catherine McDonald. Catherine, Catherine McDonald, would you like to learn to skate? Because you can. And number one, what's the big one, Mel? It is a limited edition print, and it's made by the famous TikTok and Instagram artist, Sophie T. This is a framed print, hand signed, and comes with a certificate of authenticity. Ooh. As valued at 1,800 bucks. $1,800 piece 1800. of art, hang it on your wall, make all your friends think you're super fancy. And that has been won by Rob Pietrini. 
Rob Pietrini, you are the lucky winner of a very, very nice, fancy framed work of art, one of a kind. Head on down to the Inner West merch desk to check that out. We're going to take a little bit of a break and I'll be back in about five minutes to interview the captains of Team World and Team Australia. Eat, drink, be merry, etc. And I will see you soon. Attention, Los Capitanos of both teams, Australia and Team World. If I could steal you for one moment of your time, let's have a little chat, shall we? Yeah, have a little sit down. Uh, thank you. All righty, so I am here with the captains of both Team Australia and Team World. Would you care to introduce yourselves? 
Uh, hello, I'm Behemoth Rhapsody of Team World. My pronouns are she, they. And which league do you come from? I come from Canberra Roller Derby League. Fantastic. And uh, who might you be? Uh, my name is Marilyn Tantrum and I use she, her pronouns and I'm from Newcastle Roller Derby League. Amazing. Fantastic. Behemoth Rhapsody and Marilyn Tantrum, both legends of the game in their own right. Now tell me, what's it like playing for Team World? It's exciting. Uh, I've only skated with a couple of these people before and it's very fun to be able to work things out together and have cohesive packs with strangers you've never met. So <laughs> it's a good time. It looks very cohesive. How about Team Strayer? Um, I'm going to be honest with you. It is intense, but in a good way. The level of skaters that are out on the track this evening, I'm in awe of and it's absolutely fabulous. So you'd say it's kind of similar to camping then? It's intense. <laughs> Amazing. It's real it We could sneak in a couple of puns. Excellent. All right. And uh, yeah, how long have each of you been playing roller derby for? Uh, I started Fresh Meat in 2010. Um, so I've been skating, I guess, for almost 13 years in March. It shows. You're very good. <laughs> yeah. Decade plus veterans. How about you, Tangies? Uh, I've been skating for 10 years. 10 years, both decade plus veterans, both of our team captains here from Team Australia and Team World. And uh, how to, just general feelings on what it means to each of you to be playing in the uh, World Pride Derby Extravaganza. How about you, Bowie? So this is my first Pride match that I've been able to play. Um, you know, I've, I've faced some people who weren't so inclusive of anyone who was, you know, bi or pan. So it means a lot to me to be able to skate here tonight finally get the opportunity because we have not had a Pride game in Australia. Well, maybe we did well. I was overseas, but we haven't had one for a long time. So finally, it's my moment. I came out of retirement for this. <laughs> oh, fantastic. I, oh, no, I did know that you retired. That's true. That is true. How about you? Uh, yeah, definitely. To be a part of the World Pride and a part of the Inner West folks is an absolutely phenomenal. And again, my first Pride in regards to skating and... I'm blown away, again, using the same word, I'm in awe, and this is absolutely magical space that you have provided for us. Not really me, but uh, thank you. Uh, Inner West Roller Derby have provided for everybody. It is, it's genuinely, genuinely magical. And just really, really quickly, because we've got a couple more minutes until the end of the halftime period. What are your plans for the next half of the game? Bowie? Survive and Good. win. Survive and win. <laughs> Solid plan. For Shreddy really. and Slam. Honestly, and, and sorry? For Shreddy and Slam. For slam. Shreddy and Slam, yeah. yes. Uh, slam, who was injured in the first period, and Shreds, who's gone to be her very attentive derby wife at her hospital bedside. Shreddy and Slam, do it for them. What about you? Yeah, again, absolutely respect to those skaters. We are going to keep calm, controlled, to the line, and just practice that fierce, calm culture that we have over there on Team Australia. That is, these are serious athlete answers. I'm obsessed with it. That was really, like, I got chills. That was, ooh, ooh. Can I have some chills? Sure. It's very warm. It is, it's quite warm. It's quite warm in here. All right, sending chills to you. Best wishes for the rest of the game. It is freaking incredible roller derby. I'm so stoked that I get to watch it. So thanks for playing. Thanks for putting it on. That is Behemoth Rhapsody and Marilyn Tantrum, captains of Team Australia and Team The World. Give it up for our captains and all of our skaters before we get back into the game. Thank you. All right, and we are about to get back into the swing of things. We've got a minute and some change in the rest of this intermission. And do you know what? I'm going to, I feel like we could do a little bit more crowd work. I feel like you're all getting a little bit lazy here, getting complacent. I haven't been picking on you like I was the last game. So if everybody's going to take their seats and get ready. Ooh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do with you? I reckon let's like practice that. It's a very close game. Let's practice that ooh, ah moment again. All right, so right down the middle. This side, my left, your right. When I say one, two, three, you say ooh. 
Right hand side, my right, your left. When I say, after they say ooh, you say ah. I would like to hear you trying to outdo each other. Are we ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Ah. All right, and once again, just before we get started again. One, two, three. Ooh. Ah. All right, ah side, you're going to pick up your game. One, two, three. Ooh. Ah. All right, we can work on it, but so far, ooh is winning, all right? I'll be, I'll be looking at you, other side of the track. Pick up your R game, all right? It's a stern warning. Let's get back to the action on the track. Melon Bones. We Pushing have boots. got someone missing from the box, I think. I think that's what's happening. We have got someone, yes, there we go. Someone for a team. Australia Motherfuzzer taking their penalty. A little bit of confusion there on counting to four for the blockers, but we are sorted. Nothing Thank you, gets penalty past, box wranglers. Nothing gets past those officials, those beautiful, beautiful non-skating officials. So we are starting this period, the last period of this roller derby extravaganza with Team World on 75, Team Australia on 53. And despite that, Phil, still no lead. Oh, yes, out we go. Push in boots, taking the lead for Team World. Holly Funky, though, stuck behind, stuck behind the wall. There is a lot going on, and it's on the other side of the track from Mel and I, but it looks tight, it looks hard, it looks slow, it looks like there's a lot of force and pushing needed from those jammers to make a gap through. Holy Funk, trying to get past the wall. I can see Hodo, I can see Seeds. Pushing boots, not. Oh, pushing boots, able to get past, no pass, no penalty. Four points for push in boots. Push in boots up against Seems the Day at the front of that pack. Seems the Day just working that defense. Everyone really working out their, uh, their thigh muscles as well. A lot of very low and slow action here, putting in as much friction as they can between their wheels, their toe stops and the track, holding back those jammers who must be getting tired by now. It's been nearly a full two minute jam, but pushing boots makes one more pass. Florence and the machine holding back that tide for the longest time. And we've got a star pass from Team Australia. Seeps of the day now jamming to Team Australia. But that jam is over. Eight points added to Team World and they increase their lead. 83 leads to 53. Not a surprise to see that happening at the end of such a hard fought two minute jam where the jammer takes off their panty, hands are over to the pivot and essentially pass over scoring capabilities to uh, their backup on the team. Yoshi back on the track for Team Australia. And Buttercup, who took a nice run up to really see where the gaps were gonna form on Team Australia's triangle there, but the answer is nowhere. Pushing so hard, using all of Buttercup's body weight there, and we're going in for another star pass. Star pass over to... M multiplayer block being called. Someone is off to the better bearings penalty box. But Yoshi is through with four more points for Team Australia. And Hells, yeah, has taken the jammer status. So that is a star pass. A star pass happens when the jammer, who originally starts with a star in their helmet, isn't able to get through the pack and hands that panty onto the pivot, the person with the stripe on their helmet, so they can take on the role of the jammer. Yoshi in the lead, already scored eight points. That's another four up to 12. 
with Team World still trying to push their way through that strong Australian wall. Let's get back around. Four more points for Team World. And what do we have? Do we have a Yoshi in the box? We do, which means Power Jam to Team World. And this will be a full two minute jam as well with the lead jammer in the box. Team Australia doing a fantastic job. Only two blockers on the, on the track, but still able to hold Hell's Year back for just those few seconds. Hell's Year with one more to beat, but two now recycling Masker Jones. Revan Townsend takes a swing at it, but has to recycle. And Yoshi back on the track, and I think scored some points just before the two minutes was up. Let's have a look. That's 12 to Team World, eight to Team Australia. Big jam there from Team World, really increasing that lead there, but still only just over 30 points. Again, a couple of power jams, a couple of big jams, as we've just seen, and that lead shrinks. There's your chance to see the elusive track repair. Uh, oh, just in case uh, you missed it. Speaking of elusive, line. Florence the Machine is jamming and is lead for Team Australia. Chakram getting the star back on their helmets. And calling it just in time. Team World still in the lead. Big change from uh, the last period. Uh, Team World on 95, Team Australia on 63. Team Australia changing it up yet. Yeah. We didn't see Florence and the Machines um, jam before. Was she simply too fast? <laughs> just streaks of lightning. Holly Funk jamming for Team Australia, but it is Ray that takes the lead. Holly Funk's got a work cut out for her to catch up with Ray and those powerful strides coming around into the back of that pack. And called off, I think, just before Holly could get the hips around the Team World jammers. So that's one to Team World, none to Team Australia, 96-66. It's the wrong way round, 96. It's not as fun. 30 points. It's when you've had a row and you're facing back to back in bed. Don't want to face each other. Up to jam for Team World. We've got Chile and for Team Australia, Pavey. And Pavey out front already, taking the lead for Team Australia. 30 points, the difference here, but Pavey, I've seen Pavey score 30 points in a single jam in my time, and it looks like she's trying to give us a bit of a look at that. Four points on the board. I've got to say, she, uh, she just went past us, and she looked, I mean, committed, but pretty casual, like oh, serene. stamina. Yeah. And a nice little toe step round that inside line. Scores four points without going out of bounds. So that leaves Team Australia with an eight-point jam. Pavey, one of the most incredibly accurate jammers I have ever seen in my entire life. The way I think it's some sort of magic, some sort of magic spell cast on her toe stops. They just don't seem to touch the outside of the track. All right, and we got two in the box, one for each team, both jammers on the track, and oh, look at this, we got Grimm really dancing around, keeping Yoshi back there for Team Australia, and out gets Pushing Boots, taking the lead for Team World. It's LaRage coming up to do a little bit of offensive assistance for Yoshi. Successful.
Team World clearing the century mark with that jam. Low scoring game so far. The quality of defensive play in this bout is absolutely phenomenal. 100 points to 74, 21 and a bit minutes on the clock. I'm bloody excited to see what happens next. Probably some roller derby. I would, if I had to take a bet, I'm not you a reckon? gambling person, but probably some derby. Okay, all right. I mean, bit of a left field suggestion there, Bones, but yeah. I'll take it. Feels like it'll be low odds, that one. Yeah. And yet, that's Vicious Delicious getting knocked out and dragged back by Hell's Yeah. Very elegantly. I think, I think they did maybe three turns on the toe stops before they came back on. Getting all spun around. Ah. Oh. Taken to the outside of the last minute by Deadly Red and recycled all the way back. And we got two skaters returning from the Better Bearings box. Buttercup with great control on the fall there, was knocked down almost to the outside of the track, but managed to keep all parts of the body inside after that big hit from Saves the Day. Look at what's happening at the front here. We have got Buttercup jamming for Team World up against two blockers. I think we've got Marilyn Tantrum holding on there to, I can't who see you, the other one is, but it's amazing work. Two person blocks there, really forcing that jammer to work hard as Vish, Vicious Delicious comes through and takes lead. I can't believe that. Over a minute in and we've just got our lead jammer. Vicious Delicious has some fans in the crowd, it seems. Popular player here for Team Australia. Still your lead jammer. And who's here to support Team World? We have got a century. 100 for Team World to 76 for Team Australia. Do we have any Team Australia fans in the house? Some sort of a home crowd, it seems. Who's here supporting Team Zebra and the NSOs? That's right. All right, we're off with Shakram for Team World and Holly Funk for Team Australia. And Holly getting sent to the box. Back block, yes, thank you. And so that means Power Jam for Shakram. Oh, Chakram toe-stopping Massacre Jones with uh, that look of disbelief. Like, I'm so sure I knocked her out, but ooh, it does not seem that you did, Massacre. I'm so sorry. So, Chakram, lead jammer, power jam situation. And Team World have got a GOAT. We talked about this before, but they've stepped off track, so there is no chance of holding back that pack there. They're not re-entering. There they are. So the refs are indicating we've got a pack at the back. And that is some incredible fluid wall work from the Team Australia defence up in the front, just grinding Chakram down, popping her in the sad place and keeping her there. Hodo trying to give a positive assist there to Chakram. Chakram, of course, with lead jammer status. And calling calling that it off, off. Holly Funk. That was a hard push. Four points for Team World. None for Team Australia and a clear box. So we can see it's a better bearings penalty box. Full complement on the track with Lerage up for Team Australia. Lerage? And Rage. Jamming? Jamming? Lerage jamming? Oh, she can do it. Rage has been playing roller derby for a very long time and does it very, very well. But Ray is out and lead for Team World. Rage trying for the outside and then the inside. One to beat and she does it. Rage is out. But Ray right behind and sent off. So. I was I was about to say, did you see that footwork from Ray? But apparently the jam ref did, and it was illegal. Power jam for La Rage!
LaRage just absolute powerhouse, full of strength, four points in the air for Team Australia. LaRage getting an assist from a blocker. But now we're just two One, two, blockers three. left at the front, pushing through. Yes. And we've got Ray back on track and a full two minute jam. Oh, Looks some like a jammer little... on jammer action here. Oh, oh my goodness, Ray. Swift Ray round the through. inside there. Stunning footwork from Ray. So fast. La pushing at the back there, joining the rest of Team Australia in defense. Oh, sliding around. Picking up another four points there for Team Australia. 8-12 so far. Eight for Team World, 12 for Team Australia just on this jam. But LaRage is nearly back through. And that is another Ow. four for Team Australia. Kind of seems like maybe we've got a couple of fans of LaRage in the stands. Is that right? LaRage, the single person that likes snacks more than anyone else that I've ever met. So maybe some snack fans in the audience. I wonder if she'd share some of them with me. Rain Rainbow ready to retire from roller derby after that jam because frankly there is nothing that could top that for her. That is very good and Pavey Wavy picking up lead in the blink of an eye. Florence, the machine, holding back the tide, bringing Chile back. And Pavey is through, four-point pass. Pavey, an absolute weapon for uh, Victorian Roller Derby League All-Stars and Team Aotearoa New Zealand, now playing for Team Australia, picking up the points. Team. Pavey with the pace, the power and the precision. And Team World now with all their blockers back on track. Let's see. Will Pavey do it again with this pass? All blockers back on track. Sounds like we've got a couple of fans of Pave in the audience as well. Making it look easy and still with lead jammer status. 12 points so far for, I take that back, 16 for Team Australia. Oh, that's a mighty close score gap there. And so much time left to use. <laughs> and through again. again. Is this gonna be the highest scoring pass we've seen today? We're on 20. Can Pavey make it 24? Oh, yes. so serving around the outside line. Give it up for Pavey. Oh my goodness, do you know what this means? We've leveled the score! I think it's time for one of those waves. Are we ready? This side of the audience? One, two, three! And that does seem like good time for oh, I didn't even need to run out. that fast. Got All right, so it's an official, it's a team timeout. So convenient. I've got a couple of people here who I would love to chat to. Some of you may remember Erin from uh, Sockjoy Heroes, but who are you? My name is Beck, also uh, used to be Micro Machine. Beck, AKA, or formerly known as Micro Machine. Fantastic. Now, Erin, you are one of the founders, and I don't know uh, what your title would be. You're a big dog at uh, Sockjoy Heroes, and uh, what about you, Beth? Uh, yeah, we founded it together. We, um, about a we year did. after Erin started affirming their gender and really struggled to find gender-affirming gear in Australia. It was just very difficult to access, expensive to get from overseas. So we tried to fill the gap. 
Fantastic. And I hear that you met at roller derby. We did. I was playing. Erin was in the audience and came up to me I'm afterwards. I so that, oh, you had a great game. The <laughs> lesson that I'm me. taking... What's that, sorry? She ignored me. Uh, well, the lesson there, folks, is that if you uh, go to roller derby and you like the look of one of the skaters, maybe one day you will end up in love and founding a company selling gender-affirming gear to people, or, you know, or whatever. Maybe you don't need competitors, but, uh, <laughs> you know, selling, like a, selling really necessary, selling important, <laughs> inclusive, queer-friendly gear to people. This could be you. If you come exactly. to the after party. Join roller derby. Join roller derby, fall in love, live happily ever after. All right, thank you very much, Soft Joy Heroes. Back to the action on track. Holly Te Funk having lead jam. Finding she heard you. There. You distracted her. I'm sorry, Holly. <laughs> Soft Joy Heroes, though, it's their track. <laughs> thank you so much to Aaron and Micro. Yeah, they have, they're the reason that we have a track on which these skaters can skate. Be awkward otherwise, wouldn't it? Just turn up and there's people just sort of standing there in roller skates. That's no good. Sand. Pushing boots. Jamming for Team World. Harley Funk stepping through and calling that jam off. I think doing it just in time. Yes. Good timing there on that call. There are so many reasons to love roller derby. What are your if, top three? If you want to see roller derby in a sustainable environment, you want to see this sport keep going, please support your local leagues. Go and have a look at the merchandise stand and buy yourself something, put some money back into the league and look cool at the same time. And if you've already spent your money, Tag a photo, tag your friends, tag Inner West Roller Derby League, tag Pride, tag everyone. All right, and that Buttercup. is Buttercup China almost much. around the outside, but taken out by Vicious Delicious. So we've got Buttercup jamming for Team World and Yoshi for Team Australia. We yet to have a lead jammer declared. They are fighting hard, both of them trying to get through each of those triangles. The triangle, one of the strongest shapes. Three the blockers strongest can make. shape. No pack call, that means you cannot be blocking. We see blockers going Yoshi's to the better Baron's through. penalty box. And gets lead. <laughs> Four points, the difference. Team World 116, Australia 120. Both jammers on the track. Some pretty fancy footwork from the Team Australia blockers back there. And for all that hard work, a 0-0 zero, zero jam, double donuts. Less than 10 minutes in the game, four points in it. I reckon it's time for another ooh -ah. our side. Pick up your game, all right? Are you ready? Should we change it up, Jack? Oh, yeah, actually, that's instead a good idea. Of, instead of ooh -ah, let's embrace that we are in Australia and do it as a yeah, nah. Oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah. You're a genius. Yeah. All right, so... Ooh, you're now yeah, other side, you're nah, all right? Are we ready? One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. That's quite, it, that was quite petite, wasn't it? It was, it was. Let's give it another go now that we've, you know, we've figured out the logistics of it. One side, one, two, three. They're a very positive bunch. They are. They don't want to say nah. No, they just I want to say yeah. I want to say yeah to Get more roller derby. People. Get over it. Do the nah. Be Australian. All right. After this, though. <laughs> Pavey wavy. Making her way past over reactor. Picking up lead. I don't know, she's got 
So we have got in the lead for Team Australia. We've got Pavey and through already before I could even say their name. Chakram getting through as well for Team World. You know what? I think uh, the wrong Veronica's song is playing over the loudspeaker right now because it should be untouched for Pavey getting through that pack. Just a casual glance over the shoulder as Pavey takes the inside line, just seeing if anyone's going to challenge them, and it turns out, no. 12 points so far. It's all like of the team. What are all the team doing? Pavey <gasps> continues. Oh, gets a track cut. Pavey into the better bearings penalty box. Power Jam for Chakram and Team World. 132 points to Team Australia, 120 to Team World. Chakram's got four on the board. Can she pick up a few more? Marilyn Tantrum calling back Chakram, slowing everything down. And while Marilyn does that, we see Pavey standing in the penalty box. Not for long, back on track. Pavey's back on. 10 seconds left of this jam. Seems the day drawing Make Pavey back. The, the absolute most of that. That was a jump. Was that a, it wasn't an apex jump, but it was another jump. Pave with a beautiful little pose at the end. Giving the fans what they want, slicing through that pack like a hot knife through butter. Or not Alex if you're vegan. That was a very animated start for Ray, trying to get through and making it, taking the lead for Team World. Current scoreline, one, two, four, Team World, one, three, six, Team Australia. It is a pavy jam away from taking another lead. Do you know what though, a Ray jam as well. Ray been known to have quite a few points on the board from a single jam. This time round, scoring four, hitting it and quitting it. And a team timeout being called by Team Australia. Team timeout. Oh, all right. Okay. Stick around to the end of this. I mean, it's as if anybody needed reminding to stick around to the end of this game. We've got merch for sale. It's something that you could pick up in the next couple of minutes or on your way out. Also, I would really suggest that everybody head on down to the after party straight after this, if you are watching it right here in Luna Park. After party is located, where is it located, Mel? The Oxford Tavern, I believe. And where would I find that? In your west. Is that, that's where we stick it, right? I'm learning. Roughly. Roughly, yep, yep. Is that on Oxford Street? No. No. Oh, okay. I think I said that earlier. I'm not from Sydney. Where, where, does anyone know where it is? It's in Petersham. I it's think. in Petersham. Oh, it is in your west. I know where that really is. All right. So Oxford Taverns in Petersham. They're one of the sponsors of the Inner West Roller Derby League. Oh, yes, very nice. So support the people that support the people that make this event possible. Absolutely. We love it. We also love to, you know, buy commentators and MCs a drink after the game. So, I mean, I love that. It is also a brilliant place for a hungover Sunday lunch. So once you're done partying, just hang around. They do a d good lunch next morning. That's actually great to know. Thank you. Pavey and Chili on the jammer line. Pavey in the pack out the front. Chili backwards and forwards at the back. Pavey knocked out by Halsia, but Halsia not able to hold back that absolute unstoppable force that is paved. Oh. A lot happened there. <laughs> Several Mostly spins. gravity. 
It was mostly gravity drawn. There's a lot of gravity. Behemoth Rhapsody drawing back pay for a little recycle. Very environmentally friendly here at Inner West Roller Derby. Pavey's got a good chance here with two of the Team World blockers sitting down in the box and another one having to report to the box and being told to get back on track. It's, it's not really like she needs the help, but it's always appreciated, I'm sure. Team World in an, uh, experiencing lots of penalties. They're not experiencing, they're, they're making them. It's not a faultless... It's not a victimless crime, like... <laughs> Pave having a little disagreement there with Copter and saying, no, I think I'll keep scoring, actually. There's been a star pass to Baza. Baza, <laughs> as the name would not suggest, playing for Team World rather than Team Australia. needing to get that panty on before they make it to the back of the pack in order to score points. And after a jam that puts 16 points on the board for Team Australia, I think it's time for another yeah, nah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let's give it a go like this. I'm gonna point at you, all right? One, two, three. Yeah. We no, got... just, just yeah. I feel good about that. We got an official timeout. Oh, it is an official timeout. Official timeout. That what means we, they're going to be gonna talking do? about. They're going to be talking about what they saw. It is an official timeout. I'm interested in finding out a little bit of a uh, crowd participation. Who, once again, who is cheering for Team World? Okay, no, no, no. Sorry. Team World supporters, can I get a big cheer, please? Team Australia? Respectable, very respectable. Team World, we love you too. Also, side note, like most of the people are from Australia. It turns out it's quite hard to get to and from other countries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, we do what we can. Who's cheering for Team NSO? Yeah! Who's cheering for Team Zebra? Who's cheering for the amazing and fantastic opportunity provided by World Pride to come to some queer as hell roller derby today? Yeah! It's pretty good, hey, it's very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, who's still in slight shock and awe and can't quite believe their eyes about the performance that was put on earlier by the Chuffed Skate Team? Absolute maniacs. On oh, who's... Can we get a cheer for the live stream especially? Can we get a cheer for the wonderful, the amazing, the incredible Slamazon who's in hospital right now? I think we have got. She's in the hospital some... wing of the uh, of the roller derby. Actually, she's still here. Can we get a big cheer for Slamazon? <laughs> and a big cheer as well for our wonderful, wonderful Sir John uh, first aid providers. They are working hard. Oh, actually, timing. Hey, we can we can all look over here. Yeah, and let's maybe, look over here. Shall we talk about our spunky bruiser outfits? Oh yeah, actually, I think you should show them off. Get over here, dance for me. All right, so our beautiful, beautiful uh, commentators over here are going to strut their stuff up and down this little catwalk. I right, reckon middle of the track, please, everybody. Oh, the oh, yeah, strutting their stuff for the cameras and for the crowd. You too could look this fine as Bone Idol and Mellow Drama if you visit the Spunky Bruiser stall. Oh, and actually, do you know what? There is somebody that's here 
who is going to look as mighty fine as our wonderful commentators in their custom Spunky Bruiser outfits. And that is the person who's won the Spunky Bruiser giveaway, which we will announce right now. They might be here, they might be online. If they are here, like, make a big noise if that is you. If your name happens to be Ashlyn Hubble. Ashlyn, get over here. Come here. Amazing, Ashlyn, congratulations. Amazing. I have invited you up, but I uh, don't have anything to give you because you get to choose your prize. But uh, Should we, we've got a roving camera. Surely we can go and have a look at the sorts of oh things my God, let's do that it. Ashlyn might be able to go and get. Are you keen? Let's yeah, Mel, I reckon off we go. Crowd. Oh my God, over the top of all of Ashlyn's family and oh, friends. Oh, this is fun. Lucky, lucky. We're just pushing, hello, how are you? Wow, that's an intense conversation. We're just gonna push past you, past all of these other people. If we could probably just stop in here and get a little bit of a baseball hat. Should we do that? Does Ashlyn need a, but no, no baseball hat for you, Ashlyn. Just keep walking, right? And we're on the way out here in the dark. This is what we want to choose. We have some romantically lit clothes made by the lovely Christian. Hi. Christian is the birthplace of Spunky Bruiser. Yeah. And you are? Lily. Lily. Lily Christian, this is Ashlyn. Ashlyn would like you to dress. Yeah, dress her. Sorry, I should have checked before that. It's like I've learned nothing. Ashlyn, what are you looking for? Shirt, pants, jacket, jumper. You don't have to choose right now, but I think that, you know, just a little display of the wares is gonna look very nice. This is fun, isn't this fun? And we'll, we'll make you... I'm just looking for something funky, cool, and I think these guys will be able to supply it. It's all, it's all recycled materials, all eco-friendly, so it oh, looks amazing oh, oh, down here, so come camera. check it out. Sorry to interrupt, our roving camera seems to have lost its signal. Oh, oh no. I so do love though, Ashlyn, I feel like Ashlyn, do you know the people at Spunky Bruiser? Because that was a very polished answer. I think they're just polished here. I'm, I'm sitting here and listening in. They're not even talking to me. Ashlyn is like, I want to look good and they're like, piece of... I'm, uh, I'm actually up. right here with some of Ashlyn's friends who say she knows everything and she did her research. So Ashlyn, nice one. Your research has paid off because you're a winner, baby. Nice one. All right. Spunky Bruiser, thank you very much. Big clap for them. Putting on this event without sponsors would be literally impossible. So thank you to Spunky Bruiser. If anyone else out there has a small business or a restaurant or maybe even a chocolate factory, if you have a chocolate factory, can you come and see me immediately? It's urgent. Immediately. But if you're thinking, wow, I've got so much money in my business, I would like to support some roller derby, some women's sports, some gender diverse sports, some inclusive sport, come and talk to someone. Come and talk to your local league, because we'd love to have you. It's fantastic. Actually, real quick, by the way, if you, it's maybe not quite as like fashionable as Spunky Bruiser due to uh, I'm a ridiculous human being, but if you like my weird little clown outfit uh, and you have a small or kind of medium sized children in your rainbow family, you can head to the uh, costume and headdress making workshop run by Luna Aquatica as part of World Pride uh, and get one for yourself, make one, learn. When you say costume, you're suggesting you don't dress like this? Oh no, I mean outfit, it's not a costume, it's an outfit. Just checking. All right, and we are back. Ooh. Just enjoying that uh, full start there from Yoshi. <laughs> All good though, no penalties on that. We have got, however, two of Team World seated in the box. One for Team World standing on the box. 
Push and Boots and Yoshi, both of them are out and free. Jammers, but it's Push and Boots with the lead. Despite having only one blocker for offense on the track at the beginning of that jam, incredible work from Push. Score for score, four apiece. Push and Boots asking if she should run it or call it, getting the direction from Thunderslut on the uh, Team World bench. Nah, keep it going. Push in Boots coming out at the front and calling it before Yoshi can score again. That was a four points to Team World, eight to Team Australia in that last jam. Not long left in this last period. Just three minutes. How many jams are we going to get? It was uh, seven points, actually, for Team World. One was not picked up there as there was a no pass, no point. How many more jams are we going to get? Mm, I reckon a couple more. I don't want this to end. I have got a good view of what Buttercup is going to have to take on here. Three from Team Australia closing in there. Just swallowing up Buttercup. Holly Funk getting beaten up at the front of the pack by Team World blockers, but makes it out and lead. We've got a point difference of 25 at the moment. Team Sneaky Australia outside. in the lead. Sneaky outside line there, Holly Funk. Making it 29 point differential. Two minutes left on the period clock. The direction of play. Not allowed to go that way. So you get to go to the better bearings penalty box. Holly Funk taking a quite a good hit to the sternum there. It's not a fun place to take a shoulder. And out for Team World. Buttercup coming through, approaching the back, just as Holly calls that jam. All right, couple more jams left in it. Maybe could just be the one. I reckon now might be the time to, I don't know. The skaters, I don't think, have danced enough on the jam line. I think they should dance, honestly. Hodo. <laughs> Pavey and Chakram, you feeling like a bit of a boogie? No, talking tactics. No, nah, talking about the pub. How are they going to get there? Having a beautiful little chat. Friendship is magical. Two very strong, powerful jammers. Both facing off against three fierce blockers from each team. This has been a fantastic game. The teamwork that everyone has displayed in both these games from teams they don't normally play with has been fantastic. Thank you so much to all the skaters. Still waiting for a lead to come out of this jam. Pave has not cleared the pack yet. Very, oh, as, there we go. It took over 30 seconds, though. Highly unusual, incredible defense there from Team World. And Pavey coming back to the back of the pack. Chakram, I think feeling just on their tail there. And the Jammers having a little bit of a chat again now. Pave, oh! Oh, we what love way. to see it. What a way to end this game. Pavey taking a split as they call off the last jam of this game. All righty, I reckon uh, in a West, are we allowed to get uh, no. people? No? Okay, no. well, skaters, feel free to slap the hands of people along the barrier if they feel like it. I don't know. Full time final score, we've got Team World on 135 and victorious Team Australia 170 points. Okay, actually, we're not allowed to have you slap their hands. I'll do it, though. Oh, I'm sorry, I promised something that I couldn't deliver, so you get some from the commentators. Yay! Yeah, 
Yes. There we go. Consolation prize. That was pretty fun. And next, speaking of prizes, we've uh, got some MVP Jammer and MVP Blocker Awards that we will be giving away. So when they are ready, I would love for the captains of each team to come up and uh, meet me in the middle with the details of your MVP awards presented by Chuffed Skates as well. So stick around for a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of an awards ceremony before we all head off to the after party at the Oxford Tavern, which is in Petersham. And... Uh, Final run through of some of our sponsors, I reckon. What do you think, Bones? I reckon whilst you're doing that run through, if you haven't yet tagged Inner West Roller Derby in all of your photos, please do. We love seeing the content you're creating yourselves, so please get it up there. Tell us how you found the games. All right, so once again, give it up for Team NSO. Team Zebra. Team World! And your winners of the very first Inner West Roller Derby World Pride Extravaganza, Team Australia! Hell yeah! Alright, so, they're gonna touch each other. Uh, ooh, I mean... Do we want to know who was on Team Australia? Oh, that's such a good idea. Who was oh, on Team look at Australia? These rule breakers. Oh, go Team rule World. Rule breakers. That's Team <gasps> World. Team Play. World, we had Slamazon, Stretch, Ramona Powers, Grim, Hodo, Vanessa Shredgrave, Overreactor, Puss in Boots, Bazaar, Ray, Deadly Red, Chili, Chakram. Ruby, Behemoth Rhapsody, Ezekiel, Hells yeah, and Lady Painicorn. And playing for Team Australia, we've got Holly Funk, Marilyn Tantrum, Low Rage, Revan Townsend, Seeds the Day, Supernova, Massacre Jones, Vicious Delicious, Florence the Machine, Pants, Beers, Mother Fuzzer, Yoshi, Pavy, Madge, and Godzilla. And who was officiating, might I ask? Oh my goodness. I you think. may well ask from our well, zebra team. That you've got. We have had Spanners, Sparkles, Honey Badger, Boom Tish, Brawn Bear, Menace, Denominator, John Ref Kennedy, and Candy Bunts. Oh, yeah. And we've also had Mercy, Ruby Soho, General Pain, Nasty Surprise, Tenacious C, Ritual Ideas. Fairy Gobsmacker, Slice Skater, Resting Bitch Pace, Motion Denied, and Body. Thank you, and a huge round of applause. A massive thank you to all of the amazing Inner West volunteers and volunteers that made this happen. What an incredible event. Thank you all for coming so much. This is so special. What a beautiful picture of everybody. And uh, let's find out who were the uh, MVPs in a minute when they've had some photos, I suppose. Yeah, take the photos. Amazing. All right, captains, when you're ready. Do we have team captains? Whilst we are lining up the captains, I want to say thank you to Jack for running up and down, for keeping us entertained, for giving us commentary and sneaky secrets from the ref pool. Ooh. 
Well, thank you, Bones and Mel, for giving us the play-by-play, -play, letting us know all the uh, intel on what was going on on the track and just generally being fabulous and informative. Thank you, Bone Idol and Melodrama. And thank you so much to our wonderful DJ as well, whose name I am currently not looking at on the run sheet. We're going to tell you about it because it's uh, been a great atmosphere here and I think that that deserves a, uh, a mention. So, all right, first up, we've got Behemoth Rhapsody, captain of Team World. Would you care to tell us who has uh, picked up your MVP Blocker and MVP Jammer awards from Chuffed Skates? Okay, MVP Jammer is Yoshi. Yoshi, come on down. You can exchange this. And MVP, MVP Blocker is Steve. Yoshi and Steve's the day. MVPs, stick around up here, grab one of those, head over to Chuff Skates if you want to exchange it for a different one. And uh, stick around, who have we got from uh, MVPs for Team Australia? Thank you, for our MVP jammer, we have Ray. Ray! And our MVP blocker is Hodo. Hodo! Okay, Hodo, Dr. Hodo has been being a doctor, but is also the MVP blocker and can head over to Chuff Skates if you would like to exchange that for a different colour or similar. All right, can we get a photo of all of our beautiful MVPs here? MVP blocker and jammer from both teams. So fantastic, amazing work, incredible, perfect even, I would say. And uh, I think that just about concludes the evening. Is that right, Mel and Bones? Well, other than saying a big thank you to Interest Roller Derby League, what an incredible event. Yeah, what an incredible event. Who sponsored this incredible event again? Do you want to just give us a little list? Jesus. Just in case we haven't mentioned them at all. That's very we, true. We probably haven't mentioned how are, grateful we are to No Milk In My Tea. This is a brand that provides financial and social support for the trans and gender diverse community. We want to thank Chuffed Skates for not only entertaining us, being independently owned, fully run and operated by roller skaters. What an amazing company Chuffed Skates are. Lee, we also want to thank Better Bearings for supporting us, particularly in our penalty box. Um, we want to... Thank Spunky Bruiser for dressing us because without you, we would be very embarrassed right now. And we want to thank Sock Draw Heroes for providing us with a track and for providing us with gender expression for all of us to feel good in the way that we look. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that uh, made donations or contributions towards the raffles as well. Uh, thank you to everyone that came along. Could not have done that without you. It would have been pretty awkward to put on this big song and dance without all of the beautiful Roller Derby fans. Some old, some new. Thank you all. Thank you, Melodrama and Bone Idol. Thank you, Inner West Roller Derby League. Uh, my name has been Jack Be Quick. It will continue to be Jack Be Quick. Thank you very much, everybody, and good night. See you at the after party.